All right, looks like we are now live. And welcome everyone to the Medicaid of Gratitude. I am back in my home in Florida and I couldn't be happier because it is actually warm here. <laughs> and of course, uh, there is uh, my fabulous family and friends uh, from the area. Uh, welcome everybody to this um, special stream. Uh, I was going to do it um, on Tuesday because Gray Man was not doing his What's in the Box, but I could not swing that because we were at an event. Um, so here I am. Uh, I figured it would be a good idea to postpone it till Thursday and do the stream here from the wonderful Medicaid. And hopefully I'll be joined by a few friends here in a little bit. Thank you, Big O. Um, let's shout out the chat here before I start. And I'll tell you what we're going to be doing today. Besides showing a lot of comics, you know, if you're on my streams, you're going to be seeing a lot of comics, right? Uh, in early, the tailgaters were Las Cruces 1971. Hello, James. Great to see you here. And of course, the gray man, Graham himself. Welcome, my friend from England. And Southern Comic Geek, Jason, my buddy from Mississippi. Great to see you here, as always. Of course, easy comic reader, Mike from Sunny South, Texas. I love his accent. Uh, some dude named Metaro. I forget about him. Uh, <laughs> Stephen Spock, how you doing, my friend? Great to see you. Hope Spock and you and Spock are doing well, ladies. Anyway, Big O, how you doing, buddy? Uh, feel free to come on if you have some time. Uh, we're with my lunchtime, Darren, our buddy from down under as well. And uh, Jacob Bornowski, of course, no stream is really a stream of mine without Jacob being here. That's kind of a rule that I set. Uh, ahead of time. So welcome, Jacob. Always great to see you here. All right. So as I said, I'm, oh, we got Roscoe in here as well. Another fellow Floridian. How you doing, my friend? Great to see you here. So what I want to do today, again, I think Rayman's coming on in a little bit. <clears throat> Hopefully uh, a few others will be uh, chiming in here. Uh, Aaron will be here, I think, in a little bit in a while as well. So I'm here at the Medicave. Notice I don't have any well, maybe you don't notice because you're just seeing the wall behind me, but I don't have any comics or anything prepared to show on the stream. So I figured, you know, you guys are my friends and I try to, you know, I try to get, you know, give my friends as much as I can. Right. So I'm going to ask you in the chat, what do you want to see here in the Medicaid? Um, remember, I have uh, my comics. I have the spinner rack. I have lunch boxes. I have video games. You know pretty much the things I got. So I figured I'm going to get my phone and walk around and show you where things are and what it is you want to see. Okay. Now, I think James told me something previously, which I do not have, which is the ladies or whatever. But um, hey, Brian, how you doing, buddy? Great to see you here. So put down in the chat something you want to see. I'll grab my phone. I'll put myself out on here and... Let's see what's around the Medicaid. I'll take a little bit, a little spin around so you can see what's in here. Uh, let me tell you, it was it was just like a surreal experience. I've been away for almost two and a half months. And I come in here, and it's exactly the way I left it. Not anything out of place. Um, it, it, you know, of course, I brought my comics from New Jersey that I bought over there. I've started putting them in and I'm looking through, you know, some of my comics. What's, what a great experience to come back after. It's almost like a brand new room to you after that long of a time. So let's see what we got here. Hey, right, Joe, how you doing, buddy? Saying hello, friends. Oh, Grayman says Silver Age DC. Am I speaking out of sync? It's possible. It's very possible. Well, look who's coming to join me. Hey, My buddy. buddy How's it going, Roger? <laughs> good, good to see you, my friend. It's been a busy day. Um, yeah, thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. I don't, I, I don't, I don't like to do these solo streams, as you know. Oh know. no, it's no fun, man. The more, the merrier. That's what exactly. happens. Exactly. I'm a social animal now. You know, I didn't use yeah. to. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm gonna uh, duck out just for a sec, Raj. I'll be. Uh... Yeah, no problem. All right. So let's see. Um, Gray Man said he wanted to see Silver Age DC. Let's start there. Where is my phone? I probably misplaced it. Oh, of course it's right here. What? Duh. All right. Am I out of sync? Let me know if I'm out of sync here because somebody said I was out of sync. All right, here we go. I'm going to try this, Aaron. I'm going to see if I can get on my phone. 
I'm going to mute myself. All right. I'm going to enter in here. Whoa, we got two. Yeah, two meta rocks. I got to change the perspective here. Hold on. It's your doppelganger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do do doubly ugly, I tell you. <laughs> no. I've been watching too much Twin Peaks, man. Oh, oh, oh. You're one of those. <laughs> All right. All right. Here we go. You may hear like double audio. I'm not sure. I'll try to make it so that. Oh, that's okay. All right, Silver ATC. That's a. I have, I have it. Through, I have it kind of throughout throughout the room, but this one here has a lot of that. So let's take a look in here. Let's see what we got. Very cool. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Well, this is not DC, but we got War uh, Warfare number one here. Uh, let's see, battle number one. That's an atlas. What do you think about that, Aaron? Wow, beautiful. Yeah, as you know, I just got a whole bunch of atlases, and I just from a friend. Yeah, but... You got Atlas Seaboard. This is Atlas like before um, Marvel. Before Marvel. Yeah, like you know, it was timely than Atlas than Marvel. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, blazing comics. Holy moly. Let's see here. Big shot. That's that's golden age there. Nah, we don't want to. Nobody wants to see that. Oh, we don't want to see golden age. No. no. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Tales to Star wow. Twenty Seven. Beautiful. Yeah, but that's not DC. Where, where are the DCs, Rod? Come on. That's I'm sure Grayman is like ah, this. Rod, he's like got all these marbles. Who wants to see this junk? You know. Yeah. Mm. I can't really see the chat, so I don't know what's going oh, on. Oh, okay. Well, I can't either because I'm using my phone. <laughs> Hold on. I, I, I know I got some in here. I know I feels, got some. feels good to be home, though, right, Roger? Oh, does it ever, man. I mean, yeah. I was so tired, you know, traveling. I bet. All right, here we go. This is what this is what you want to see, right? Great. Girls' romances. There you go. There you go. 10 center. A 12 center right there. <laughs> there you go. That's what you wanted to see, right? No, just kidding. Just kidding. Hold on. Here we go. Challenges of the unknown. Number, what is this? 17. I just don't. Look at that. I feel like, the, so much. I feel like that guy to pull, uh, show up on your porch there, huh? And wow. we got another challenge of the unknown. Beautiful. 31. Mm -hmm. Not bad, not bad. No. All right, let's see what else we got in here, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just made it, man. I, I just got off what I was doing. Oh, yeah, cool. Thanks thanks so much for being here. Blackhawk. Ooh. And the uh, Boy Commandos. That's that's Bronze Age. You don't want to see that, Greg. You don't want to see that. <laughs> you're going to open up? Page four, number you're going to open these up later? Oh, uh, yeah, we can open them up. Yeah, sure. Yeah, opening them up is fun. Yeah. Isn't I'm, I'm piling them up on here. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to organize. I, I'm in, in a total uh, chaotic array. Oh, hey, you just got a collection in. I mean, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Here's some Star Spangled War stories. Number 98. Look at that. Nice. And yes. leaves the beef. Oh, that's not a DC. We don't want that. <laughs> Gosh, man. Roger, what are you doing? Star Spangled War story 105. Let's man, a lot of this stuff. Wow, beautiful. <laughs> and let's see what else. Oh, here we go, Mr. District Attorney. Yes, radio's number one hit. Number 20. Look at that eye. Ooh. All right, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough appeasing uh <laughs> green man. Let's uh let's see who else is saying something here. All right. I guess I gotta go to the chat for that, don't I? Hold on. Yeah. 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 So you just got in last night. Yep, sure did. Oh, cool. You're around for a week? Almost. Yeah, almost a week. Yeah, we have to leave on Tuesday because my wife has an event on Wednesday. So we snuck in here the as much time as we could. Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's see who else came in here at the end here. Um let's see, we got uh about to take oh Brian's about to take his dogs for a walk, but I want to say hi. Hey, you're always welcome here. Fireball, welcome. Four color fossil. Um, big fan over there, of course. And Mark, four color, four color commentary. My buddy from Oklahoma. 
Yes, welcome. Welcome, for all, all your old your buddies. buddies. <laughs> hey, there's my buddy Night Tiger Mike from down the road here. A couple hours. Great to see. If you're this is this is the guy with the Golden Age comics right here, man. Cool. Uh, uh, amazing, amazing stuff. Uh, it's not a new batch. That's just the some of the Silver Age I have in that box. Um, look at this. Look, see, this is the kind of this is what I get here. Roger hey, this funny beaver mags. That was leave it to beaver. <laughs> you know? Come on. All right. Let's see who else. Let's see what else they want to speak. Steve wanted to see treasuries. Okay, we can do that. We can do that. I can put, I can do that without even going. I can to do those. that. Yeah, I, I, oh, we got, oh, that's right. You're a little meatloaf for you from the 90s. Right. After this, we'll have uh, one more, and then we'll have Aaron show some of his collection that he just found, or whatever he wants. The to flashbang uh, putting this stuff together. Oh man! <laughs> Whenever you get collections, that's like a, a like a certain high to that, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because it's like all new to you, and well, uh, yeah. All right, here we go, Steve. How about Battlestar Galactic? Oh, let me make oh. myself big here, Aaron, for a bit. Yeah. You don't mind, my friend? Oh, I don't mind. All right, here we go. How about that? Hmm? Great! That I love this show. Back in we the just marathoned that show uh, a month ago. The uh, seventy-eight beautiful. series, seventy-nine series, whatever. Yeah, the set, the original series. Yeah, the original series. Oh, That's man. where it's at. That that was like a must-watch for me. Yeah, and I was surprised how well it held up. Yeah, it's I, actually I, fun watch. Back then, it was like, oh, I can't believe it only lasted like a season or two. I know. Right, here we it just have fell um, off. Huh? It just fell off, like you know, the yeah. ratings or whatever. They can limited collector's edition C twenty-one starring Shazam. Of course, wow. the Captain Marvel. Beautiful. Billy Bats in there in the front. And here we have the photo cover because it's part of the Saturday show. Excellent. Nice. Excellent. Uh, here's one of my absolute favorites, Aaron. You, I think you'll appreciate this. Captain Marvel's Bicentennial Battles. Wow. All Kirby stuff in here. It is just... Is that magazine cool. size? Yeah, treasury size. Yeah. Wow, treasury size. Beautiful. Yeah, this thing is it's it's big. You know, it's like do I have a regular size comic here somewhere? Yeah, you're right here. <laughs> here's a regular size comic, and here's this sucker. Wow. <laughs> and you got that off the shelf, right? No, nope, I got this one out of a state sale for a buck. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. That was a good find there. Yeah. Uh, and I those are new, that's a new stories in there, by the way. There, it's not reprints. It's all Kirby new stuff. How about oh, um, wow. Howard the Duck, number twelve? Here's actually um, Marvel Treasury Edition, Excellent. and uh, so, some new stories in here as well, where he joins the Defenders. Can you believe that? <laughs> yes, I can believe you. Because you know Steve Gerber was writing both Howard the Duck and Defenders at the time, so yeah, you know. All right, let's give some. Um, some airtime to the other side, the super villain. Let me get rid of this a gray man comment. That guy's, <laughs> this guy's bothering me already. Not even not even cover slingers yet. All right, here we go. Limited Conquer Edition C45. Wow, Secret Origins of Super. Let me turn villain. my fan off back here. Yeah, look, shout out to Higgy. I'm sorry he couldn't make your stream. I know he had technical difficulties. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's okay. I had technical difficulties getting onto this one for some reason. Yeah, you know, stream yard. It's it's a it's crap like ah, <laughs> nice and quiet. Here we go. Best of DC, Neil Adams cover, I believe, on this one here. Beautiful. Look at that. These are all reprints, I do believe. All right. One of my favorite teams that I had a um subscription to, Justice League of America. Wow. Again, all reprints in this one, but you got the symbol there in the middle, and I'm all flying. Who knew, who knew that Aquaman could fly? Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> well, they might be out in space. No, they're not in space, right? It's, well. it's an artistic license. You yes, know what I mean? that's what it's called. And uh, this, is, this is a beautiful um, painted uh, Superman cover on this one. Yes, it is. Old style Superman. Yes, with his underwear on the outside. Yeah, of course. You know, that's where we all wear them, right? Yeah. <laughs> Um, oh, you don't? Oh, I'm sorry. Is that mad? <laughs> sorry about that. I'm just and here's another all new uh, Superman versus Wonder Woman. Versus. 
Uncle Sam in the back. Well, Sam. it's you know how that goes, right? They they're they're pitted against each other, then they team up and defeat the villains. Yeah, know? I remember uh, Uncle Sam had his own mini Alex Ross mini in the nineties. Yep, and he was also the leader of the Freedom Fighters. Yes, the, yep, Freedom Fighters. All right, and here we have DC and Marvel present. One of those crossovers when they played nice, Superman and Spider-Man. Oh, that's that's a popular one. Yeah. Versus Doctor Doom and the Parasite. I remember that one. Yeah, I I, I love these crossovers. I'm still missing that um Superman Spider-Man one, but I'll run into it someday. You know, you kind of wish they would do more crossovers, but now the modern yeah, the, stuff we don't we yeah, don't really care. I, I don't think that's gonna happen. I'm I'm afraid. Yeah, the lawyers, there's too many lawyers. Yes, yeah, too too much animosity between the two. Yeah. <laughs> uh, here we got Star Wars. You know, I believe Steven Spock. That's beautiful. I think I owe you for this because I believe during that stream where we we're raising funds for OMG Chris, you gifted this to me. So thank you again, my friend. I appreciate that. Wow. This was like years nice ago, Aaron. Yeah. But, uh, you know, beautiful. Well, how long have you been doing the YouTubes here? About six and a half years now. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I've only been in a year. So, yeah. Hey, you're you're a newbie. <laughs> Aaron Here's the newbie. Number two, Whitman uh, edition. I'm not a big Star Wars fan, but I do like the um, these treasuries because they're so easy to read, you know, and, and the stories are, you know, pretty good. I was when I was a kid, of course. I got out of it. And now I got back into it because Mandalorian, but now I'm back out of it. You know, it's like right. this yeah, top the ball again. I'm more of a Star Trek guy, but that's oh, are Star you? Trek. Okay. Didn't have like a lot of treasuries. All right, you're a Trekkie. Yeah, Trekkie. Tre I'm a Trekkie from way back. All right, another beautiful. This is a beautiful cover. Unfortunately, the interiors don't have Superman in it except for like a framing sequence. But it's Superman salutes the bicentennial. Yeah, Excellent. gorgeous image. You know, patriotic, strong, eagle. You got the shield yeah. back there with the American with stars and stripes, you know, great stuff. The back, back then. In the back, you have all the presidents until that point. I believe it ended at uh, Gerald Ford right there. Yeah. So, you know, cool. beautiful stuff. Beautiful. Excellent. All right. Thank you, Stephen Spock, for that suggestion. We'll take one more and then we'll go to Aaron. Uh, let's see who we got here. Oh, I'm in sync now. Thank you. In sync. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> uh, Spire Comics, Jacob. Let me see. Uh, those are kind of buried, but I'll get I'll get to those on next time I do a what's in the box for you. Uh, Rogers twin. No, no twins. Trust me. There's my twin. What I look no like? Twin. You know? Yeah, because I had the two things on. Oh, you know? oh yeah, the doppelganger. The doppelgangers. Right, right, yeah. right. All right, all right. <laughs> uh, oh, you have that. You have the Bicentana Captain America. Bicentana. It is great, isn't it, Mark? Yeah. I mean, again, right here. Uh, where's Mark on here? Hey, how you doing, buddy? Here's uh, not near Mitt from uh, my old stomping grounds in Miami. Cool. Welcome. Uh, how do I store my treasuries? Shelf or magazine? But I store them on a shelf uh, sideways. Of course, the backing board. I have to I have to make sure that it's the it goes longer than where the spine is so that there's no stress on it. Um, so yeah, it's on a, it's on a shelf over here. Uh, let's see what Gray Man is saying down here. I just, whenever this guy says, I take it in a in a grain of salt, you know, because <laughs> you know I bought fifty magazine uh, boards. Gray today. Man, awesome. yeah, oh, Gray Man, Gray Man, yeah. Hey, amateur player, welcome. How you doing? Hey, my buddy Russ. How Excellent. you doing? Feel free to come Russ. on if you're if you're, if you're good with that. Yeah, uh, Russ. That's one of my favorite people in this whole world, man. This guy. Yeah, is, nice guy. This guy keeps it real. Always oh, nice to me. Yeah. Oh, he's you know honest as long as you know you can throw anything. You know he's nice just, to the new guy. Just fabulous, fabulous individual. Um, so blessed to know him. Yeah. Let's see here. Uh, let's see now they're talking about how much they're spending for backing boards and so forth. That's scintillating conversation. <laughs> all right let's see okay 50 60 sci-fi darren says hmm that's interesting stuff as far as requests are they still yeah up? where is that right uh, if you google 2000 but okay you, you guys are obsessed with these things all right 50 60s come on where this thing is not working come on Hide current comment. Oh, I have to hide the current comment. Okay, there. 
Why isn't that coming up? There it is. All right. All right. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. 5060 sci fi. Paste. Oops. I guess that didn't work. All right. I got, hold on. I got to go, go back and get the uh, linky. Just take a second, guys. Paste. Why isn't this pasting on here? Try again. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Copy link. Copied. <laughs> Paste. All right, there we go. Technical difficulties as usual. All right, let me put us back here to this. No, not that big. <laughs> I don't want to do that. There. Yeah. And let's uh, mute. And I got to flip the camera thing. Hold on. How do you do that? Settings, camera. Flip it. Back camera. There we go. All right, that's good. Enter studio. Yeah, there I am. All right. All right. Off to another trip. Dude. Off to another trip. 50, 60, sci-fi. Let's see what we got in this box. Yeah. Uh, let's see. How about some uh, Captain Jet? Hold on. Let me make this big. Because let me let me make myself bigger on here. Hold on. All right. I guess it's showing up okay. Oh, let, let me make big over here. Duh. You guys, tape can be there. There we go. There we go. All right. How about some Captain Jack? Huh? Number one. Nice. I bought this one, Aaron. Captain was... Jet. I thought yeah. you said Captain Jack. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, I guess I can. Yeah, you got that too, Captain don't you? I have a smiling Jack. Captain smiling Jack. Jack. Right on. Number six. This is, I guess, not really sci fi. Let's see what we got here. Hold on. Oh, uh, let's see. Sci fi. Tape can be the enemy, you guys, of the comic. Yeah, book. yeah. It's, it's, I mean, you know. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Famous <laughs> Funnies. Look at that. Number something between one and a thousand. That's sort of my. Very nice. That's sort of my default uh, thing. <laughs> Famous Funnies. All right, here we go. Flash Gordon. Number two. Wow. Excellent. Bill Kane cover looks like. Uh, let's see what we got here. How about War of the Worlds? Wow. Original one? This is not the original. It's a 15th century. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty Probably excellent. Second or third one there. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. Crime and Punishment. Not really. Oh, hold on. In the Medicaid. Time machine. Wow. Yeah. Beautiful. We didn't see that movie back in the 70s. How about Tales of the Unexpected? Starring Space Ranger. Look at that. Yeah. Now yeah, let's go with some strange adventures again. Number 172. Yeah, sorry about the camera glare and all that stuff. But, uh... Yeah, I tried taking some of these out of the bag just so in case. Yeah, there's... it's just that I have one hand on the camera, one hand on here. Yeah. Oh, Rip you Hunter. Did, did, Tiger right. I believe Night Tiger found this one for me in that LCS and it was messed up and of course clean and press. And wow, cool. Boom. All right, let's see. Any more sci fi in here? Yes. Sea Devils. And you've got the goods. <laughs> well, it's just stuff I've accumulated. There's some strange adventures with that big heart there. Yeah. Beautiful stuff, man. They they just they just knew how to grab your attention back in the day, you know. There's another strange adventures, number 179. With Gray Man stuck on that wheel. Oh, did I say Gray Man out loud? I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I am so sorry about that. I apologize. I apologize completely. How about uh That's some great. Oh, 3D? Huh? That's sci-fi. Wow. Yeah. Uh, that's more horror. You don't want to see that. Right? You don't want to see Mysterious Traveler comic number one, do you? That's... Nobody wants to see that. All right. So, <laughs> Did you already do the grand tour of the Medicaid, or is that later? No, I haven't. Um, I'm going to see if a few guys come more along, and then after you, if not, then we'll do that. Okay. 
All right, show us what we got, Aaron. All Let's right, show us what we got. What yeah. you got? I'm already taking possession yeah, of yourself. From a friend, an old friend, you know, you, you know, word gets out when you start doing the YouTubes, and uh, yeah, so I got this at a pretty good price, but I did take them out, you know, to lunch. But um, we go with uh, 2001 Space Odyssey. These are all in nice uh, condition too. Oh, let's yeah. just say I got them for less than uh, than fifty cents. Ooh, you, I know. you, 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 you're a man after my own heart, Aaron. <laughs> yeah, I, I do. I don't know. The the comic gods are smiling up upon me for what I hey, like. You know, you deserve it, man, because you love these things. You read them. Yeah. You you devour them. You know. Yeah. Lately, I've hey been... Joe, how you doing, buddy? Tarzan number one, Lord of the Jungle. I'm going to be on Joe's show um, in May, I do believe. I have to check cool. with the wife still to see if that will work. Hey, Adrian V, welcome. Greetings to you. Yeah, this is 1977. You picked up your first girl, the Golden Age. Nice. Oh, yeah, that's the Busema cover, right? Yeah, yeah I think so. Pat S, hi. All right, Higgy Pop, if you're here, man, this one's for you, bro. Uh, Team America. Aaron's not double for Tim Curry. That's nice. Team America, number one, brother. This is a Higgy Pop special, right? Hey, look what we got. Awesome. We got a double, a double dose here. Hold yes. on, let's put these guys up. For a hey, green. We got Taku and oh man, look at that. How you doing, guys? Good to see What's you, up, guys. Hey, guys. Are you, are you guys coming, honey? No. This is Dream Strands. Oh, really? Comic. Dream Strand Comics. Oh, in, yeah. Seattle. in Seattle. Nice. Yeah, that's, uh, Green Lake, right? Mm -hmm. right by, I, that's the one I used to live next to, Dream Strands, actually. Yeah, they're you close to live in Seattle? I used to live in Seattle. Yeah, I lived there for like 10 years or in and around, cool. you know. Yeah. I, I like yeah. the taco style. He goes comic hunting, you know, well dressed because. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's just got to yeah, work and he called yeah. me out and said, come on up. That's okay. <laughs> so if you see him, <laughs> Let's go to our car show, show our books. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm, I'm going to put Aaron uh, on until you guys are ready. All right. Yeah, there's the Dream Strands uh, storefront. And to the left of that, Used to be a, an apartment, and I used to live right next to Dream. Can you see it? Wow! Can you see it? Hey, Mike, how you doing, buddy? So this is for. Uh, are they are they ready to show something? Or no, no, go ahead, go ahead. This is for uh, Higgy Pop, and this came to me, at, at, you know, from a friend. So hey, Cali Comics, welcome, bud. Team America number one. Oh, that came from who? This came from my friend, but uh, yeah, Higgy had a had a. Episode. Oh, Higgy had it too. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, here's some At Atlas Comics, uh, Weird Suspense, The Tarantula. Hey, Nathan, see? Oh, yeah. Now you're getting now you're getting to my good stuff here. This is what you love, right? Oh, man. Wait till you read that sucker, Aaron. <laughs> yeah. I got to finish my blog spot, man. I, it's been get, cutting into my reading time. I don't like oh, it. Oh, yeah. Man. Um, Atlas work, Comics. Work family blog spots. It all gets in, in, involved. Yeah. At, Atlas Comics, Target, number one. Nice. But you've you've done a video on the on your favorite Atlas, right? Yeah, I have. Yeah, Destructor, Wolf. Okay, Demon I got Hunter. Destructor. I do have a Destructor. Yeah. Um, what do we have here? Nineteen seventy-three, uh, Marvel superheroes, thirty-seven. Oh, that's nice. That's yeah, it's a reprint from Tales to Astonish. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's Tales to Astonish. Oh, you're trying to get Rip Hunter, man. Those those things are hard to find. Cents, man. Freaking crazy. Okay, so I don't know if this he had this one, which is uh, kick, Kitchen Sink Comics um, number one, The Crow. Wow, nice. So I'm not sure. Hey, Bob. How you doing, buddy? Hey, Roger. Welcome this home. This reminds me of Thank Sequential you. Geek. because uh, Oh, he, yeah. yeah. He really loved it. And I don't know if this is sought after, but I got it for uh, a quarter. It's in nice condition. So, are you guys ready over there, uh, Nauman and Taku? Yeah, whenever you guys are ready. You ready? All right. Uh, I think they're ready. Okay, I'm going to show okay. mine first. All right, Nauman. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yep. Well, Taku, find these for me for a dollar. Oh, nice. What? Yeah. 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 Utaku's got the magic hands, man. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> They're great condition too. They're like uh, you know, fine copies. 
Beautiful. Yeah. Joe Kuma goodness. Kuma yeah, Kuma Joe Kuma goodness. I picked up a bunch of Conan uh, a couple months ago from Dream Strands. Mm. That's a beautiful cover. I love that. Pick that cover. is. Yeah. Yeah, Cobra cover. Yeah. Yeah. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. I'll get. I'll mm -hmm. recondition it. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> For a buck. Man. For a buck. buck. For a buck. They have all their dollar comics along the wall there, if I remember correctly. That's right. Yeah. Next time my That's wife right. is traveling to Seattle, I'm going. Wall. I'll, I'll, I'll well, I'll, we'll, we'll, we'll tell you better ones. But, uh, hmm. And they're better Star Galactica. I had to pay $4 for this one. Yeah, it's just, just like a meet to and I, <laughs> I just got a bounce. <laughs> I just received one of those. Yeah. I just like this uh, Japanese uh, Adam Boy cover. Beautiful. Yeah. That looks like Bob's hairdo. Nice. <laughs> I'll take it. Bobby's not that cute. Come on, Bobby's not that cute. Sure, I am, Bobby. <laughs> oh, I've met him in person. Bobby, Bobby. Hey, Scotty, how you doing, He's even cute. That's the word. And uh, <laughs> I'm trying to complete my dog tower. I'm almost there. Wow, I almost there. Yeah, cool. I'm almost there. I got me a kiss cover. Oh, excellent. Yeah. And uh, oh, I, this random book that had, had a blank cover sketchbook in it, so I said, okay, yeah. four dollar. Yeah. Okay, yeah. now let's show Otaku stuff. What's up, guys? okay? Hi, <laughs> right. so I didn't pick up much. I uh, I was you know, just came in to pick up some uh, find some, you know, some Jim Lee books, and that's what we did. We found a this uh, nice X Men Jubilee cover. Variant cover by Jim. Cool. We've got uh, a storm cover as well. These were a dollar. Next, we have uh, oh, Fantastic burn, Four. Man. Yep, Burn. Hitler cover there. <laughs> Hitler, yeah. No, he's not, a finally, he's not a wrestling nomin today, though. Mm, that's not <laughs> my favorite. <laughs> and finally, Jim Lee, Wonder Woman. Beautiful. Yes. Jim Nick Wonder Woman. I mean, look at that. Oh. Yeah, that Wonder Woman. That's one Ooh, of my that's favorite a beautiful. Jim Lee covers of all time. Hey, Sarah. That's Welcome. Yeah, it's pretty nice. You show Good book there. Well, Sarah shows up, I tell you. It's, 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 it's Hello, Sarah. All, all mayhem. <laughs> Bronze Age. Bronze Age. Oh, and, and then I got this. Um, no one can ever remember her name. I got this great uh, Caputo, uh cover of Spawn. Shebab, Shebab. Yeah, Shebab was what oh, was that she -bab. Yeah. And it's signed. I got it for five bucks. Greg Capullo wow. signed. Oh, well wow. She, this is, that's I think, the uh, line at the convention there. Yeah. This one uh, is his hey, second work on Spawn ever. So Nice. Not his first, but second. Not bad hey. for $5, I'd say. Otaku is a meticulous uh, searcher. Yes, yes. Hey, if you see his if you see his vids, you know he's meticulous. You can say whatever you want. His, his, his dreams take an hour, and he shows like five comics. You know, excellent. But I love him because he gets into details. You know. Yeah, there's a yeah. That's um, that's not the story, is it? That's not the story. Sarah's no, no. fine. All right, that was, that's it. Um, that's great. Sorry, we missed your your room tour, bud. But uh, no problem. You didn't do it yet. Yeah. I haven't you done it yet, but no problem. You can, you can catch the replay. You know? now. Are you telling? We're going to be stuck in traffic, place? huh? You gonna eat some dinner? No. Yeah, we have to go home and then see if my wife will feed me or not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, nah, man, no, nah, man. If you look, yeah. to your, if you look to your left, and there's like there used to be a building next to uh, Dream Strands building, right? Yeah. It's empty now or this being reconstructed. That's where I used to live. This is a, uh, building, <laughs> a small like, building with the graffiti no, on it. I think the building's knocked down. There's nothing there now. Oh, oh. this yeah, is my left. Way past this building, there used to be like a wait, house. Wait. I lived in a business district, that business uh, wait, district. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wow. maybe, maybe you dig down in <laughs> there. Awesome. You're talking about Aaron's comics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, I yeah. guess they knocked it down a couple of years ago. So you came to Dream Strand quite a bit, right. though. I, I, I wasn't. Um, I was resisting for about a, a good six months, but then I just went in there. And then so civil, <laughs> civil, war, civil war was going on, and and then uh, Captain America died, and all that hey, stuff. Donnie, so I was, in. I was in after that, and I never awesome. left. 
All right, guys. Well, you know, I will say one thing about Dreamstrand. They uh, used to have a lot more, you know, like the older books, but I, I think they had a couple break-ins and, mm. um, yeah, a lot of their older stuff is just gone now. So it's a oh, that's terrible. terrible. I know they used to lit. They used to operate a couple um, lots over in that same building, but they moved over. But, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for coming on. I'm gonna. We're gonna leave. Take care, All right. guys. All right, you guys. Have sure. a nice day. Bye -bye. We'll see you, you too. Bye bye. All right, sure. Aaron, show a few more things, and we'll go to Bubster down there. Okay, um, we got uh, some Dragon Ring here. Shout out to my good friend, Easy Comic Reader, Mike. Hey, yeah, Mike. Yeah, what he, a, what a he, great uh, guy. These are all mixed up in the back, backed up back issue uh, area. This is from Aerosol, and I got uh, put onto this by uh, Big Elbow. I guess he grew up on the Aerosol stuff, but it's it's. I think it's beautiful. I think Bub knows Big Elbow. He he used to go on. He used to be on our Monday night streams in the chat. I think. Big Elbow. Yeah. Cool. We'll have to research that one. <laughs> I think Bub. It, it was a while on, back. But. You guys have been on. Yeah, so, so long. You was it a that. long elbow or just a really girthy elbow? <laughs> <laughs> which, which was it, Roger? Oh man. All right. So, uh, 1976 uh, Marvel premiere. 33 got this for a quarter from my friend cool i did take right. him out you know, like i said i took him out you know lunch drinks stuff like that so oh you wine and dined them well yeah i haven't seen him in a while his name's dave he Ooh. sold me 200 <laughs> comics for you know should i tell you guys you know but I, lunch <laughs> no no well practically uh here's another air that's the way to do it him. aaron you know you just mm -hmm. you schmooze it out of them you know <laughs> He contacted me because, you know, I'm doing a YouTube just, we're, thing. We're just busting your chops as usual. And people are like, wow, you're really into comics. Wow. I have a bunch over here, you know. That's how that's been happening lately. So, Yes, Bub is cool. going to Heroes. Bub will be there with his uh, – Your Teresa's going, right? Yeah, my son as well. Oh, oh, Sean too. Okay, great. 1984's The First West Coast Avengers. Um Got this same price. I know Higgy got a bunch of these for for his from his friend too. Oh, is that is that West Coast Avengers? Or yeah, Avengers West, Coast? I remember this miniseries actually. Okay, when I was a kid. Um, yeah, so we got one. We got I got all of those up against blank. Real exciting, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The crotch cover, but you can't tell which way he's pointing. Pulse pounding excitement up against blank. Uh, number three. Well, you know, it was a mini series, so they're kind of testing the waters there. That's a cool yeah. cover, though. Yeah, Gravitron. Good choice. Gravitron. Number four. Yeah, Rom, Rom shows up on the one of the head bubbles there, but he. Never a part of the Avengers. Good stuff. Um, yeah, so I got, I'm trying to. Move hey, through. Justice for Comics, welcome. <clears throat> Haven't seen you in a while. Hope it was well. Got Tech World number one. Here you go, Mr. Trekkie. Hey, that's you Shatner's know? writing. Yeah. yeah. The, the editors at Marvel are like, hey, Shatner wants to do his own Star Trek. Okay. Yeah, that's why it's an epic line because he can he's he had the rights to him and he wanted to keep it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So but you read it? You should have sold him. Yeah, it's not too good. Not good. <laughs> yeah, I heard it's not that great. So yeah, it's, uh, he's a better actor than he is a writer. Let's just put it that way. I uh, you know he tried right. 1995's uh, Alien versus Predator uh, duel. Oh yeah. I'm a sucker for those movies. I know that. Oh, that's good. This most was of them are not great. That they didn't you know, have to but, use any words. But you know, since I was uh, ever since I saw Alien, you know, in the theater, I've just been like transfixed by that xenomorph thing. Um, DC's Atlantis Chronicles. You guys know oh, about yeah, this? That's thing. horrible. Is it? I've never read those. You read those, Bob? The art's, the art's pretty rough too. Yeah, the art's a little, little static there. But I mean, I'm sure it was worth the French oh, fry cool. you, you cool. traded for it at lunch to, <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> you probably have to get a it's cheese cool, it's you know, cool, just a it's cool. deal was made. Yeah, yeah you know, are number one. I actually have, I think I have this one. There's all kinds of stuff, man. I got a bunch of Thor. Um, is there anything in that square down in the corner there? It looks blank to me. No, um, I don't know if it's faded. I haven't taken it out yet. Okay. Easy. Hey. Don't you want to put a pair of gloves on for that? There's Hickey Pop. How you doing, buddy? Hickey. Yeah, what's up with that? Oh, there's something in there. Yeah, I the guess origin of speed. Quasar. Yeah, yeah. And that's that's a bad. The untold Mark, origin. Of Gren- I remember Mark Grenwall wrote this, and it's, I, I yeah. liked it. You know, I thought it was awesome. And uh, you know what put me on to Quasar was that. Yeah. Um, Marvel team up with the Serpent Crown and all that annual. Yeah, when I was a kid. I thought that was that was great. So. Hope you're doing well, Hickey. Missed. Uh, sorry you couldn't get on Aaron's stream. I was really looking forward to seeing you. But uh, we'll have you on soon. You know, you, you figure, figure out. I'd have a lot of Warlord, right? But I don't. So I'm. Oh, there's see. Sometimes there's like two in here and stuff. But, oh, um, double the pleasure. Yeah, I don't know if Grail's doing the interior. Oh, Andy Kubert's doing the interiors at this point. Yeah. 99 issue 99. Yeah, Corral gave it Warlord. up in the 60s or 70s, somewhere in there. He gave up the art. Well, I think the 70s. Great, right? great series all the, the way throughout. Didn't, go, didn't he go to the 80s? Yeah. Here you go. Maybe, Here's the, 80s. One. Yeah, maybe the 80s. Here's one for Roger. In the 80s, uh, I think Warlord shaved his chest. So you can tell the <laughs> earlier issues, he was all natural. Oh. Here's one for Roger. Uh, Atlas Comics, The Hands of the Dragon. Number one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Roger, you have a complete Atlas run, surely. Of course. Yes, of course. Well, two. It, isn't it four issues or something? <laughs> no, that's not, only one, actually. The only one what? Of Hands of the Dragon. Oh, really? Yeah, it's the only one. Well, it's a one shot, wow. unfortunately. Wow. Yeah. But not if you read the story. If you read the story, you're pretty sure there's more coming. Yeah. Well, <laughs> there should have been. Yeah. But then there just yeah. isn't. Yeah. <laughs> Here's another uh, a- Atlas. Um, more Here's one of my favorite people in the world right here. Unruly, Unruly Simeon. Simeon. Morlock 2001. I hope, I hope you're going to um Heroes Con uh, really because I love to see you, buddy. They're really they tried their hardest to compete with Marvel, I guess. Atlas, right? Yeah, like they even stole one. they even stole some of their artists. They would they would wait down at the bottom of the building when they would come out and they'd say, Hey, how'd you like <laughs> to draw for art? Hey, how, how, how you want to jump ship? Well, how's that? How's that idea? <laughs> Because they were right down the block from the Marvel offices. I'll do one more, and I could pass it off to to All right. whatever we'll you want to do. Um, got a lot of these uh, older Marvel tales too. So my 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 uh, Marvel tales is starting to. Oh, grow. All right, it'll be on Saturday. Perfect. All right, we'll meet up definitely, buddy. It's cool, uh, Ramita era. Oh yeah. Cool. Yeah. So I could jump off now, and you guys can switch it up with what you want to do. Yeah, Aaron, Aaron, um, Aaron got a good deal on that. Let's just put it that way. Yeah, and some of these are mixed up with other things, but I, all the scores were under a buck, which is – that's. that's I think the spec, the spec market's silently imploding, you guys. I'm, you know, Not with everything, but – That'd be fine with me. <laughs> can only hope. Hey, Digger. How you doing, <laughs> hey, how's it going? Bob's like, all right, I got more golden age to get. Yeah, it doesn't bother me at all. Uh, I I didn't know we were. Sh- I thought the chat was supposed to pick what we're showing. What did they ask us to show? All right, all right, chat. Let's let's start again. Did they not? All right, well, I'll just show stuff until then. What do you want to up see this little- Brazilian copy oh, of Planet Comics number nine? And here wow. is here is my regular issue of Planet Comics number nine. So you get a little bit of those. Wow, wow. particularly difficult issue to get because they uh, people collect what might be determined to be some sort of device there coming out of the ground. Mm-hmm. Uh, some, some sort of appendage. Aaron, <laughs> are you following me at all? All right, there we go. Right. <laughs> so, you guys are always so waiting for me to laugh, right? Yeah. There's about, no, I, four, I got it actually uh, got it beforehand, but then you just kept going with it. And well, it there's about four it. issues in well, that. I, run I needed that, that extra that have stuff. I wasn't getting <laughs> kind of similar comic, similar covers to that. And they all go, they're all harder to, to yeah, find. Yeah, that was beautiful. So I got this box here, this uh, hardcover as proof. Uh, the uh, Legion of Monsters hardcover. This is a nice old set, and it collects a bunch of great stuff in it uh, from the Legion of Monsters. And I got this because there's several in here 
I'm going to say a dirty word, but I'd like to get them signed and slabbed. So because so I'm sorry, Aaron, sorry. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Uh, so because there's several in here that I want to get uh, signed and slabbed, now I'll have a good way to read them after they're encased in solid air. <laughs> yeah. so, what, what what exactly is in there? What, uh, what in here there? we have uh, classic tales of horror and suspense featuring the Scarecrow, Man, Fibian, and the Legion of Monsters from Dead of Night, number 11, Marvel Spotlight 26, Marvel <laughs> 2 in 1, number 18, That's all Legion Scarecrow of Monsters version. 1, Marvel Premiere 28, and the official handbook of the Marvel Universe of Horror. Horror. <laughs> horror. Wow. You know, I am shocked that they... I put all the scarecrow um, appearances in there. That's a character nobody knows Me about. Too. I thought, I thought it was kind of a waste of space, to be honest yeah. with you. Because yeah. I would have liked a couple more uh, other yeah, issues here. I mean, yeah, I would never consider it part there. of the Legion of Monsters. I guess is my point. Hey, Carson, how you doing, buddy? To include the mag stuff, I thought was pretty cool mm -hmm. and 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 uh, and a nice choice. So I was very happy to get that. And I have all of I have. I have all of these books that I care to have, save for one, one of the mags I'm missing. Right. But uh, but all of these are Greg Land covers, and the next time I get to see him at a convention, I have one of them signed, but I've picked up the other three since then, so I'd like to get him to sign the rest. Nice. So, all right. Cool. You know, uh, hey, I don't know what have, I've shown and what I haven't shown. I'm just going to reach over here and whatever. Just not, just not whatever them, series you know, and, and casing them in booth. Hey, hey Browns, Browns, hey, John. All right, here is Planet Stories. This is a pulp. Uh, very early. So this predate this is of course a precursor to Planet Comics as it as it evolved. 1951. Ooh, that's, that's beautiful. As somebody that's wrote gorgeous. on it once upon a time. Gorgeous and, su and surprisingly classier than a lot of stuff that Bob sh has shown in the past. Well, I appreciate that. <laughs> my wife, my wife has a shirt with this on it. She, we got it at a wow. convention early on, and so well, I've been looking for a well-presented copy ever well, since. She's a very classy lady, so I, <laughs> Isn't that, she, I, though? Have no, I have no doubts. You know, he's all class, and then and then there's me, and then there's Bub. You know, uh, yeah. Uh, here's a book I picked up. Here's Bob I was collecting this. I, I've known this guy for ages, seeker. so I can say these things. He knows I'm just messing. I know. Yeah, yeah that's why I, I got a real. It back a little bit. Don't know it was Gun Honey Heat Seeker number four. I needed two more to finish this run. Sometimes I, you know, I'm collecting modern books, but I forget about them. So then I go to the shop and I'm like, oh yeah, I need that. And I pick up a couple and then I have to fill in the gaps in the runs. That's or, how I kind of collect my modern books. All right, books. Bob. Think about what oh, you just I said. Love that. I love think about that what you just cover. said. You you start collecting it's modern books and you forget about them. Yeah. 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 Like I'll read the first one or two and i'm like hey that was a pretty good book i'm gonna pick up the rest of that run and then i just don't and then i go into the shop and i'm like hey there's one oh but it's number four i'm like now i have one and four so i gotta pick up the ones in between right? right then i read the story and then i i do conventions you know i i don't do a lot of them but i'll do a few a year where i'll set up a table so all the books that i've bought and read like this i'll just put them in a dollar bin after i'm done oh, okay. and sell them Okay. So I just a way for me to read through. Uh, I like mini series and and you know four issues, five issues, six issues is already getting a little too much for me right. for my right. attention span. Yeah, I, I think any story that can't be told in six issues shouldn't be told at all. Like <laughs> pretty much that's the way most of them go for me. Well, there are so. exceptions to that, Bob. But uh, there well, are. Most, but even when you think about those stories, exceptions, exception to that, those right? are probably <laughs> a couple of different storylines strung together. Like if right. you think of some of your favorite storylines, except for the rare occasion where they drag a storyline across an entire volume, which they hardly ever do anymore, yeah, right. then you know, and then that has to be really good, like really, really good. Yeah, you agree. Know. It has to. If, uh, to this was a gift for that six issues. I agree with that. Yeah, it has to be really special. Spider Punk Arms Race. Yikes! It was a gift, so uh, it's in my collection wow, now. That's a busy Punk cover. There. Being uh, that's this is a comic capsule that someone sent me and is hoping that I'll give an honest review for. So I have this to, oh. to, to do is in my to-do list is an honest review of a comic capsule. Oh, our journal I say that because hundred. apparently like a lot of people are showing these and doing reviews of them. There's kind of like a top loader with a lid. Mm. And yeah, um, I actually received one of those recently. Hey, I and, didn't get one of I those. Guess, 
Well, I, I guess that they were they put every now. I may be I may be talking out of school. I don't know. I never I never received it. I talked to them. They they actually reached out to me early on. It went to my spam folder because I was like, I don't need more crap. And then uh, and then by the time I got around to realizing what was going on, they said they had already sent out all their uh, creator packages. I'm like, okay. Mm-hmm. And then it turns out that I guess they were sending them out with gag orders. So oh, if what? if you didn't if they didn't like what you Ooh. had to say they could request that you not post it oh, so they wanted oh. right of refusal and that's not a that's not a real that's, review that's, that's, and that yeah, doesn't mean that everyone who said they liked them is lying they might have just as well liked them yeah but I don't really like that idea of things so it's all about I said I didn't want one and I yeah. wasn't gonna wasn't gonna <laughs> review one and then a friend of mine said look I got an extra one I'll send it to you you've oh, got to okay. do a review on this I said okay so that's that's how that's that fair that's fair. Here's All Crime number uh, two. Nice Bruce Tim cover there. All Crime. Beautiful. Never seen that before. Here is a blank for Planet Comics. I pick up these uh, blank covers in order to be able to, uh, you know, get sketch sketch work and stuff right, like right. that. Done. You want to get maybe like a Planet Comics reproduction on there somewhere? Like one of the uh, older I don't ones? Know. I can't decide what to do, but this is, I was really pleased with this to get this, you know, cause they have a modern run of planet comics right now. Right. There is a modern run of it. So, and I've been picking, I've been cherry picking the covers basically. And that's, and it's an anthology book. So you don't really have to keep the run going, you know, but I have a few covers from the modern run. It's not too bad. I probably have like five out of 25. So a fifth of any, of any modern run is probably about as much as I can stand. <laughs> So, but this one I had to grab that blank, you're, you're and just it's going to be a special today, artist. <laughs> yeah, I know. low tolerance for long runs to the choir here. Uh, all right, here we have a Witchblade number sixty with a great foil embossed cover. You can really feel wow. the embossment all over this thing. Oh boy, uh, it's it's Ladies. fantastic. Who did the art on that, on that cover? I like I like some shiny foils. Hey, artist, artist, who did the art? Uh, on this one, this what is um, uh, Fim Gor- Fim Gordon Gorder Steer Spin Sven Gorder Steer. Oh, I believe Sven. he was a okay. Swedish chef in the Muppets. I'm you not did good. Not that. You did good. It's the best I got there. Oh. Um, here is Resident yep. Alien number zero. So this collects the first appearance of Resident Alien. And some of the, uh, he had some early appearances. He was like a backup feature mm-hmm. in some other comics, which I do have his first appearance as well. Uh, but this is a nice little collection of Resident Alien uh, season four or three or four are now available on the Sci Fi Network. So check nice. that out. Do you have a Jetta Six, Bob? I do not have a Jetta Six. I don't know what a Jetta Six either is either. So I have to check that out. <laughs> Jetta Six. Somebody write that down and send it to me so I can check it be a robot cover uh, or something like that next we have the old dick tracy so i'm yeah. picking up this harvey run of dick tracy uh this is number 37 37 wow so trying to collect the entire harvey pre-code run and then i'm gonna go back and work on the dells so that's that's the plan on that uh um, that should be doable it is but you know me i doable but i'm trying to do it cheap so that that slows everything down, you know. Oh, yeah. I, more patience yeah. and time. I, I only do it cheap, Bob. So I know, yeah, how, I know exactly cool. what you mean. Gotta, especially with Golden Age <laughs> runs. I mean, yeah. trying to complete a Golden yeah. Age run is really something I've dedicated to myself about two years ago, and it's really Season been difficult. Just came so, out, wow, working. Oh, on you, he was within margin of error. Two, I haven't two even touched the Golden ago. Age really, unless it randomly comes to me. That's pretty oh, cool. No, I love well, it. They, 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 they're. Season three yeah, they're just came out. Them. Okay, good deal. Yeah. All right, here's another Dick Tracy. Number Ooh. 38, Ooh. I guess. I Ooh. actually Ooh. had these in order. Ooh. Yep, kids getting ch- itchy is kicking the kid in the chest. Yeah, Ooh. that's some When I see that kid, I would think his name is Itchy, but Someone actually it's the, the guy line. itching. Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a different these, world. Uh, there. Here's another Dick Tracy. Gotta get it. Gotta get it, said Paul. <laughs> Gotta get the plan of stories. Yeah, he's he's picking up. He got his first golden age. Paul did. Congratulations. Yeah, he he told me earlier. I can't wait. He to credited me with uh, with infecting him. 
Yes. Oh. Which of all the people that have done that, he's one of the better looking ones. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> there's, Diggle, you know, there's number, I think it's 40, uh, 68. I think, they, I, I think they make a, uh, a vaccine for that or a anti, look at this, anti-venom. Man, this is know, elderly yeah. abuse. Look at this. Guy's choking no, up. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think he asked for it. Oh. But in any case, uh, there's a, I really like this one just because there's a small little note written, uh, of course, in pen. But it says in the front, to Freddy from Mrs. Party. Hmm. So Mrs. Party. to Freddy oh. from Mrs. Party, who <laughs> probably was That's the, the kid's teacher, you know, yeah, surely. Right. Yeah, right? And I just think it's so cute and so sweet. There's probably <laughs> some kid who who she knew <laughs> liked comics because every kid liked comics. And so she bought him this oh, elder man. abuse murder comic, <laughs> which was soon to be outlawed. Sure. And uh, and yet here we are, right? So I just think that I love that. Yeah. So sometimes there's like date stamps. I love date stamps. And anything that gets real personal like that, I feel sure. like just a part of the book's I mean, how history. Old is so. that? How old is that comic? Um, oh, gee. Let's find out. Oh, Let's we'll see if the open. cover holds you up to being open. open. 53 or so, 53. Yeah, if 53. I had to guess, it would be close to 53 because I think it's very, it's very close to the end of the run. Mm-hmm. So... Uh, 1953, October 53. And of course, I'm only collecting the pre-code, so I'm only going up to 54 uh, the year. Excellent. So I remember when you found a few of those in that shop over in um, Louisville. Oh, it drives me crazy. I love them. (laughs) Here's uh, Danger Girl. Girl, Nice J. Scott Campbell cover with the foil madness. I I don't remember if this one's embossed. I think it is. Yeah. I think it's heavily embossed. Don't wear it down now, bub. A foil oh, they're all going to be smooth by the time I'm done. <laughs> uh, this one's actually a pretty tough book to find. Oh, uh, not to mention in good condition, which this is in good condition for what it is. But this foil, these are the early foil days, you know. Yeah. The yeah. printing um, wasn't very good on them. They rub off very easily. So, And I've seen a lot of copies where someone's completely rubbed off on them. So, yeah. All right. Next up, we have... Another foildy, but it's a modern foildy. Uh, is Supergirl something or another? I think it's a Carla Cohen cover, if I'm not mistaken. Power Girl. Oh. But what I really like about it's, they never show up well. But what I like about them is that uh, that Supergirl Nothing reminds me of the Laura Vanderhoot. Or I think that's her name, who was played Supergirl in the Smallville show. Right back when I couldn't afford anything but over the air antenna TV. Yeah. So yeah, the rabbit ears. Yeah, yeah. I saw every free show during that, you know, five year period of my life, and that was one of them. So nice. Bub likes to rub off. Oh boy. Uh, I shouldn't oh, have shown that one. Gracious Steven Spock. I didn't I didn't uh, see the here, comment before. Uh, here is Spider Woman number three is another modern run that I'm just trying to collect. Okay. And this was the least offensive cover of that Spider Woman wow. run. That that everything in this number three issue was terrible. So that this was the best lot, we could yeah. do. <laughs> And I'm trying to read it. So Vanderhooters, that's right. Or Vanderhooters. Uh, this is issue number four of that same run. And I think that does complete that story arc. So what I'll do on, on modern books with characters that I like is I'll usually collect the first story arc and that's it. And if it stinks, I never collect anymore. And if I like it, then maybe I'll look for another arc. It doesn't, go in, your do- doesn't go in your dollar bin? Hey. Uh, yes, it will after I'm done reading it. Welcome. Hey, what's up, Paul? Here's another uh, run I'm collecting: uh, Predator versus Wolverine, another little mini series. <laughs> Always with mini series, is is is, and so that's a nice, that's uh, new, right? That's a new Bill one. Bill Sinkevich cover. Yeah, I got so, some Bill Bill. I want to show later. Yeah. I think that was the last issue Bill, in that run. Bill did nice on that one. Yeah, he did a nice. Job. Uh, here's another one I was collecting: Cap Wolf. Oh boy. Do, I do like Cap Wolf. Yeah, and this one's a good story. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I like it, which it doesn't take much to be a good Cap Wolf story for me. So and this one fits <laughs> the best. I mean, awful. I mean, I'm a, I'm I a mark. Yeah, Roger Wolverine, Wolverine was part wolf, you know. I yeah. mean, Ugh. no one's Golden Age collection is complete without an issue of Major Impact the Space Ace. I got one on my wall back here. <laughs> so there you go. Cool. That's the uh, chocolate drink. Promotion. Yes. Yes. And if your collection isn't complete enough, here is another copy of Major Impact, the Space Ace, 
for your collecting pleasure. Uh, everyone's first Golden Age comic, uh, or some people's first three Golden Age comics. Oh, Here oh, is Major no. Impact, the Space Ace. Keep them coming. Uh, collector of the Drink Your Oval Team. So it says, did you find uh, like a lot of these somewhere? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I I'm Where gonna be selling at a convention in May, mm -hmm. and these things, these are twenty dollar bills all day. Right, twenty bucks for your first Golden Age comic Golden Age, all day yeah. long. That and Captain Gallant are like everything. <laughs> yes, Captain <laughs> Captain uh, Gallant there. Yep, and here's a here's a nice Adam Hughes cover that's kind of slipped under the radar. It's kind of a small trade of Impossible a, Team Up, Impossible Jones, and American Angel Team Up to bring you bags of hey, money. Mike? Wasn't that hey, a uh, like a Kickstarter? Yes, it was a Kickstarter, mm -hmm. and they kicked it, and it started. So we 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 got we got what we, what we paid for when demised probably. All right, almost. This is the last book I'm going to show just because. Oh, I got to pay that bill. It's bad when you have a bill laying under a stack of books. Uh oh. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that bill for eighty five bucks. Someone's going to come send somebody to my door and bust my kneecaps. Comic book chaos. Oh my gosh, it's piles of comics. You can tell both here is Vampirella number nine. Uh, purpose of this is not for whatever that junk is, but for the Wally Wood art uh, contained beneath. Yep. Whatever that junk is. Cool. And uh, Wally Wood oh, has a classic story in here uh, called The Curse. So um, it's a very, if you're a Wally Wood fan, it's, it's an important piece to have in your collection. So, and thus it is. All right. All right. That's all I got. <laughs> Unless you want to see the bill I didn't pay. Yeah, I'm curious. <laughs> <laughs> your, your priorities are all I'm sure it's 85 bucks i mean they're not gonna break my kneecaps for 85 bucks uh Notice you have the, exterminator it's the, the exterminator bill under the vampirella you know so you know you, you can tell he was you know just oh and i was never gonna pay this that, that thing that you know that, until that vampirella showed up forget it all right so let's take you around the medicaid here before we get the paul all right hey, and good. let's take a look let's hop around here i I just love being in here. Bob's got a nice room as well. Sure, yeah. But, um, you know, this is sort of my sanctum sanctorum, for lack of a better word, right? You know, my nerd shirts, hats. Uh, hey, Roger, we can't hear you. Switch switch to the phone audio and then turn uh, the other audio off. If I switch to the phone audio, then it'll reverberate or try it already. All right. We'll just... Uh, we'll just... I'll just talk this way as much as I can. How's that? Speak with your hands. <laughs> All right. Here's the Ghost Rider wall there. You see that? Yeah. Right. Yes. Your um, video games. You got PlayStation, Turbo Graphics, Nintendo stuff, Atari stuff, more Nintendo stuff, Xbox stuff is back in here somewhere. The Meta Cave. What's that yellow thing? Is that a game? Yeah, controller? that's a Pac-Man game. Uh, you know, AB. And of course, we have Cap. I salute you, sir. <laughs> More video games here. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm a bit of a fanatic when it comes to retro video games. I love all this this all this art is community art, by the way. I was about to say who did that who did that top one in the middle there that's colored. That one there? Yeah, that one. Mr. Miracle. Okay, yeah. Yep. It's awesome. Oh yeah, that's there as a uh, comic head eighty four. He knows I'm a big <laughs> New Warriors fan, so he sent mm -hmm. me. Uh, Night Thrasher. I mean, I, I, I can't tell you how much I love seeing all this stuff from the, from the community. Yeah. Uh, it, 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 of course, here's the bub, the bub, uh, <laughs> the bub special that Jason made for me with the human fly up there. You're welcome again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you yeah, love of course. Fly right yeah, I, I won't say any more <laughs> about that, but anyway. Uh, here's a poster by uh, Sir Blue sent me. I love that Marvel's poster by Alex Ross. Of course, the Captain America movie poster there. Here's my DCs right over here. There's, there's, there's a few more boxes over behind me too. How many chairs do you have in this room, Roger? Just, just this one. Just this one and this one. That's it. Oh, just two. Yeah. I'm just a mistake. Two. And that's, All right. that's the shirt I was wearing before I changed to this shirt, which is you know. How many Listen, people ever sit in that room with you, Roger? Room, so you know, it's not like. Does, does anyone ever <laughs> sit in there with you? Um, not, not too many people, no. Okay. And here's, of course, the wall. Treasury's up there. 
Yeah, I need to reorganize. I gotta get my treasuries. They're so hard to store. Yeah, they are. That's why I put them. Up. That's why I made a little extra space on the top shelf so that it would fit up there. Yeah, and here are my thirty cent variants. Some of them. All these are marvels down here. This this whole rack here. And up there we got some uh, special editions. That's uh, that Porky Pig as a. 15 cent, 15 cent test market variant from the 60s. <clears throat> All those are variant covers uh, from either the 80s or backward, back from that. More figures. That's a Mark Jewelers, Batman 251. That's that famous Manta Ray showcase from Metal Minimum first appearance. And again, there's the space ace. Bought my <laughs> there it is. I can't believe you bought that. You should have bought a copy from me for 20 bucks. I, I think I found that like a 50 cent <laughs> thing, like a long time ago. <laughs> and I got some old Mickey Mouse toy. There. Hey, that Casco Comics is pretty neat. That's a very, very early Bill Wagons. Yep. Bill uh, Wagons. It was sent to me by um, Tennessee Joe. Yep. Cool. I mean, I've, I've been very blessed um, by this community that I've been sent so many good things, including from Bub, believe it or not. I don't believe it. And here's the mead folders. I, this this one down here, I actually used in in grade school. And the others I picked up in the state sales along the way. And that's the complete set of the folders, of the mead folders. Up there are some of the uh, power records, including the werewolf up there, Dracula, Anthem, Frankenstein, Conan, Planet of the Apes. I have a few of those, but I really want the werewolf one. The werewolf one is, yet. is fabulous, by the way. That's, the text actually is different in the comic than in the in the power record. Really? Mm -hmm. It's simplified. And these are my... That's what I need. Thank you. Yeah, you know, you, it, it was perfect for you both. So easy, uh, I can read link, link. These are all my mis uh, miscellaneous uh, Charlton's independence. You know? Oh my god! I gotta ask you a question. Are those those are short boxes, right? Not long boxes. Yeah, short boxes. So, do you like call a neighborhood kid over when you need to get one from the bottom? Uh, very funny book. I'm still able to. Do Roger that. used to lift weights, right? Is that true? Yeah, I, I used to be. I used to be <laughs> yeah. Not, yeah, but to be fair, he was just moving the stone door he was living behind, so I don't know if that counts. <laughs> Let's give it a whirl. Love wow, beautiful. Spin yeah. it again. Spin it again. Oh, oh yeah. Looks good. Just, uh, <laughs> looks good. One you know, more. One more time. Oh, thanks, gone. Roger. <laughs> it used to squeak. Now it doesn't squeak. No squeak. No squeak. I like the squeak. It's probably so heavy as yeah. ground down the yeah, ball this, bearings. This thing is massive. It's it's got double racks, as you can see, four sides. So, you know, it's eight eight racks uh, for the whole thing. And then, of course, one, two, three, four, five, six rows down. Uh, whatever, columns? Is it? Whatever, columns down here. Yep. And here's some of my miscellaneous stuff, figures, lunch boxes, cards, just everything under the sun. Down there, it's a more, my 30-cent variants are down there. Here's some of my supplies that I use for... Fixing our comics, etc. What's Lighter. in the bug out suitcase? Yeah, if anything no, happens, that's, that's the that's, that's the case. I, Roger grabs if no, the end I of the world comes and modify retro games. So I have all my electronics stuff in there. Next to oh, his okay. lighter fluid and hair dryer. Yeah, next to lighter fluid and hair dryer. <laughs> <laughs> Here's kind of my DC shelf here. Ooh, lovely! Beautiful Wonder Woman. Esteban, um, what's his last name? Oh. Yeah, old man memory. <laughs> Esteban something uh, did that. It's beautiful. Nice watercolors. And there's a little TV that I use for testing my video games. That's an original Turtles pack back there. All right. I think that's enough. Cool. I think you get a good idea. So Listen, cool. Roger, I came across an Odyssey 2 uh, video game system. I know you don't have any. Oh, I should have put so, myself big, shouldn't I? Before when I did that, I should have put myself. No, you did actually. No, no you, you did. Said, you had the, yeah, you the phone big. Oh, you're the right. phone big. You're good. Sorry about that. Oh, I know you need an Odyssey two video game system. So yeah, so I, I only have four. I, I, yeah, I didn't, I didn't see any in there. 
I, yeah, I only man. have four. And plus, <laughs> plus, some, four plus one that I modded myself. Oh, well. <laughs> hey, thanks for joining us, Big O. Yeah, I got to show this thing off. I didn't oh, get that's too the many first books. Golden Age? This is it right here. First Golden Yay. Age. Good girl. Little Fight Comic 60. Well, so. I got good news and bad for you, news for you. Once you start, <laughs> that yeah. there is no end to it. Yeah, I'm already trying to figure out how to afford something in a better condition next time. But it's this easy. This is great. Yeah, this is great. Stop it's... buying everything that isn't. Yeah, I know. And you'll have more money for that. That's this it, exactly. Guy. This is the one hand grabs guy. Yes. Yeah. Yes, Aaron. I can hold it in one. I picked up, <laughs> I picked up a couple other ones. So I got this uh, Arthur Sedan, Little Savage Tales, Red Sonia. This was going with. What I picked up recently is just a few things, little stuff. I heard a little mm. protest in the background. Thank you, thank you, Carson. <laughs> hey, Captain Comics, how you doing, buddy? Uh, I'm trying to finish this Ferris run. I only have a few more. This was one of the ones that was harder to find, but picked it up this weekend. Another Adam Hughes book. Nice choice. Be careful, Gray. I don't want any excuses on Saturday. <laughs> Wear a tighter bra, Gray. <laughs> Bits and oh, pieces yeah. of of the Rocketeer. Hey, Tony, how you doing, buddy? As, as I'm able to find them, just picking up what I can. All of the um, Dave Stevens stuff is skyrocketing in price. So it's like if I can find anything for, that's affordable, even if I have more than one of it, I grab it. And then <clears throat> I've found a, um affinity for Mark Schultz artwork also. So this Ooh. was uh, Predator Hell and Hot Waters. This is one that he's done. Um, I finished his uh, subhuman run, and then this is just the next one that I was able to find. A lot of just good line work, really clean. I really oh, like yeah. it. I love Mark Schultz. So, I got to meet him at uh, Heroes Con last year. He yeah, signed some stuff for me, and he's still doing guy. stuff too. I think like I don't, I don't think he's. It's not very often, but every once in a while, he's still doing stuff. So, oh yeah. I mean, if I can find more of his stuff and I run into him one of these times at a con, that'll be. That'll be that'll be great because he's one of the few guys that I feel I can uh, I can get like no. like Bob said you can get him to sign it you can get him maybe to do like a little remark or yeah something and he had a table right next to William Stout and oh, it was really yeah. just two fan two of my favorite yeah. I like dinosaurs whatever I'm still a kid <laughs> but two two of my favorite dinosaur artists <laughs> William St and monster type artists you know William Stout and uh, Mark Schultz so yeah. And when they collaborated a little bit with uh, Cadillacs and yeah. Dinosaurs and they handed it back and forth yeah. to, to each other, that's that's good stuff. Yeah, the Cadillacs and Dinosaurs, I have um, I have one of them. <laughs> and then the Xenozoic, Xenozoic Tales, I'm trying to figure He's out a trade. Yeah, exactly. Try to figure out a trade with um, Promiscuous Time Traveler, if you guys have ever run into him. Mm -hmm. He's got the whole run, so I'm going to try to mm. do a little trade with him. I've already talked to him a little bit, but yeah, this was... This was it. I was just I, I wanted to jump on That's just good. to show this thing off. So I, was just I love it. Happy, it's happy to have got gotten picked it up. Great colors. Um, oh yeah, it's it, it's the first one, so I'm super happy with it. You should wow. be. Did, have you read it? I've I paged through it the other day when I first got it last this last weekend, but I have not read it all. So I probably oh, will read stuff. it this over this weekend whenever I have time. So good choice. But yeah, I just I wanted to jump on really quick. Uh, we were finishing up dinner and. I had a, had All right, ten man. minutes Great to, to jump you. on, so All just right. go to do say, go do the dishes. Always, always welcome on my screen, buddy. <laughs> yeah, man. Thanks for showing us that that just yep. beauty of a comic. Thanks, yep. Paul. It's Thanks. good Thanks. seeing Take you guys. Care. Thanks. Good See you. you. Take care, man. All right, Aaron. Oh, I'm up. Huh? Okay. Yeah. Um, are we doing more rounds? Yeah, man. We're yeah, on this is uh, another half hour or so. Here's some uh, older Bill Sienkiewicz, uh work. Oh, yeah. Star Years, number one. Yeah. Do you remember this? I do. Yeah, that was part of the uh, Dave uh, purchase. A little creepy. Does story. he have any more, Aaron, or is this at the end of his comics? He cleaned them out and he gave him a ham sandwich and a bag of chips. Actually, after after we had lunch again. and after we talked, because it was it's been a while. This looks this reminds me of Judas Priest. Uh, you know, screaming for vengeance uh, album I, cover. I knew Scotty was going to chime in. He loves these. Um, oh, cool! These type of comics, yeah. Did uh, Bill Mantlo uh, write this? Because he did a lot of that. Um, no, uh, Louis Simonson. Oh. Um, no, I did. I did uh, take him out to lunch, and he loosened up and said he might have some more boxes. Ah. Ah. 
think we got a echo. So yeah, um, I just all this stuff is just yeah, man. Anytime. Weird. This was there. Um, this Marvel Tales, uh, one thirty-seven. Oh. I think that's the um, promo version. Is it? Yeah, because notice it doesn't it's have right a. Um, there. Yeah, and notice, and also the UPC. I think it's like yeah. a Nestle or something like that. Cool. And there's another copy in here as well um, that I'll get to, but. Well, if you got double, we'll talk. <laughs> I think it's a different, uh, yeah, but yeah, this is the A cover, right? This is what yeah, that's the, about, um, the like. direct version, yeah, yeah. So you definitely have the uh, promo in there. Cool. So I was pretty happy about that. I got so much Marvel Tales and Team Up now. I'm gonna have to sell my Spidey collection in 2008 or something. Here you go, man. Destructor. Right. Right? How many of these were there? Number number four, four. issue Only three. Four. There were four yeah. of these, yeah. but you you enjoyed this one. Oh yeah, sure did. It's kind of like a Spider Man esque origin, you know that they they kill his um, father or mentor, I forgot whatever, and so he takes him out on on the bad guys essentially. Got Ditko Ooh. art in there. Wally Wood also did some inks on the first few, I think. Awesome. Yeah, here's the the first one. It's a little beat up, but. Um... It's definitely readable. So yeah. I'll be, I'll be I think it's a Larry Lieber cover, uh, Stanley's brother. Yeah, Steve Ditko. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Larry Lieber went over to, <laughs> to Atlas Seaboard and did some art for them and stuff. And, and I think it was the editor. Some actually. resentment, some buried uh, resentment. Yeah. Well, I think he he tried. He, he's, I don't think it was a resentment on his part, but he tried to sort of try to get out of his brother's shadow. You know that kind of thing. Oh, okay. A so, cougar. Uh, yeah, ah, Cougar not number good. one. Not good? Nah. Cougar and Tiger Man are ugh, not my favorites. Yeah. They're recyclable. Well, you know, they have a certain charm to them. How about uh, Grim Ghost? Grim Ghost is really good. Yeah. Ernie Colin art. Yep. Awesome. Yeah, he's like a reaper of souls for the devil or something. It was, it was interesting. Cool. No, that's not Mrs. Robinson. <laughs> Got a little oh, tear there, but Scotty. I didn't think you'd watch that movie, Scotty. <sighs> Maybe you did before you became a Christian. <laughs> yeah, nineteen seventy-six Marvel superheroes, sixty-one. Little Hulk. Oh yeah, that was a, such a cheap but. Nice way of picking up those tales to astonish an early Hulk back then. Here's a grim ghost, number three. Oh, okay. I had to watch it. Yeah, all right. I showed some of these um, last night. This is it's all chaotic, and then I have stuff. That <laughs> well, that's show. that's what your stream is called, so it makes yeah, sense. Chaotic comic book cover displays. <laughs> that's all right. And, um, yeah, we got a 1987 Marvel. We got a Marvel <laughs> here. The Gatefold, right? Is it Gatefold? Yeah. Uh, wrap around. Well, is it? No, it's, I don't, um, it is. I don't, I don't know. think it is. No, I don't think it is. No, it almost makes it. They should have made it. Yeah. Yeah, that's. I think that Marvel saga it tells Marvel's story in real time. So like. It'll start with a Fantastic Four, and then when Spider Man comes on, then it'll start with Spider Man and how they intermingle. Cool. It's an interesting kind of concept, but the art um, was eh, so so. 1979, uh, Marvel Spotlight on Dragon Lord, number five. Yeah, it was a Ditko um, thing, also. Yeah. So Dave had good taste here. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. It's a great cover. Yeah. And now you have good taste. <laughs> Thank you, friend, for the good taste. Um, here's another Dragon Ring number five. This is from Easy Comic Book Reader. I just love these. Twelve Angry Men. Yeah, I remember that movie. Yeah, the jury pool one. Jury duty. It's good stuff. Yeah. Ooh, it's nice. You know, some of those '80s independents back then, we really. Look down on them, but when you look back, Juan Yap did the art. I don't, we didn't know Yop. how bad it was going to get, Roger. 
Well, it's true. I mean, yeah, this stuff was piling. This is in like near mint condition, too. Yeah, it's not bad. Like when I first saw Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I was like, oh, man. Dude, I got a comic. Oh, rough, you know, and I got a comic that spoofs. Boy, was I wrong on that one. Yeah, I think I can find it. Um, but another uh, Marvel Spotlight. So a lot of these. Uh, Oh yeah, that's um. For a quarter, when, man. Once the yeah. Mariner series ended, they had a few floating stories, and so they ended them there in spotlight. Pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, but I could let it go for now and come back if you want, Roger. No, go 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 for a little yeah. bit more. Yeah, go for um, it. I ain't got nothing. You got nothing. Nineteen eighty two's reprint of the first encounter between Doctor Doom and Spidey. Very nice. It's a new stand. I don't know if it's such a big deal in uh, the 80s, but um, it's cool. I'm you know, people reprint. make something out of that, but. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's, yeah. Uh, here's a cut. A lot of these are doubles. I have a lot of this stuff, but uh, Buckaroo Banzai, number one. Oh, I love that movie. Yeah, me too. I just watched it like, <sighs> like a few months ago. You know, that's ago. one I've never seen. It's oh, freaking folks, zany, you gotta, dude. You gotta see it, man. It's hilarious. It's so awesome for a while, then it's cringy for a little while, then it gets really yeah. good again. It's just a really awesome dad. John, <laughs> like every every all the aliens are named John something, like John Hollyberries, yeah. and you know, it's hilarious. I found I found it just super entertaining myself. Oh, the, the ninth man, the ultimate, and you get to see know. Clancy Brown as an actual good guy. <laughs> Jeff Goldblum's in that too. He's a, of course, a scientist, right? Yep. Hey, Chad, how you doing? You know, I already have this one, the protector. Yeah, you do gotta right? check the for for Mark Jewelers if it's a uh, a new. So this is a double. This will go on my blog spot, my trading program I'm putting together. Yeah, that's when they changed the <clears throat> direction to a superhero. He was more like a sci-fi guy, and then he went superhero. But Goodman wanted everybody to be a superhero on the line. Yeah. Some more uh, Warlord issue eighty nine. It's a later, another later. I did read the first one recently. I, I I loved it. Hey, different strikes for different folks, Scott. No worries. Hey, listen, I even like the Howard the Duck movie. Some so I like that, that. Tells you that tells you some of my weird. It doesn't like, oh yeah, some really. people probably hate that Buckaroo Banzai. So here we go with issue two. <laughs> <laughs> I like the whole premise of it too. He's just like mm -hmm. a genius. Rockstar, scientist, Rockstar, yeah, it's just so cool, man. Yeah. I've got just so many of these elementals from Comic Co. And I, I read a few and I, I like, I do like. That's a wraparound. Yeah, oh, yeah. All of these elementals, if you see them, just open them up and they wrap around. It's a cool, it's a cool concept. Um, I can't wait to read. It. <laughs> yeah, Howard the Duck movie was Spielberg's greatest achievement. Yeah, well, I think people might disagree on that one. <laughs> Sergeant Fury and the Howling Defenders. Dun, dun, dun. Uh huh. One forty-seven with the flag in the backdrop. Yeah, there. I get it, Scott. I get it. Different strokes for different folks. You had it on Betamax. Oh boy! Wow, that's really going back. Earth Girls are easy. <laughs> That's a different movie, I think. Monty Python was genie. I agree with that. Here's a 44 Ghost Rider. I showed this one. for Warlord to have a bunch of. Yeah, I've actually almost finished my Warlord run. So, but uh, great stuff. Oh, yeah. You, I saw those on your stream. Yeah. yeah. Yesterday. Yeah, man. I remember picking those up off the, off the rack and like, wow. Yeah. These, like, you picked that off. The rack, and I, I when I was a kid, I was picking up these uh, defenders. Yeah, so mid eighties, right? Yeah, four eighty five. Yeah, eighty three, eighty four, probably. I do like gargoyle. Yeah, Isaac Christians. Yep. <clears throat> the uh, epitome of not judging a book by its cover, kind of like Bub. <laughs> <laughs> Here's uh, volume two. Uh huh. Four. Not not Steve Englehart's best stuff, but not, not terrible. Yeah, I remember dropping out of this, but yeah. um, I'll I'll definitely reread some of it. 
to see if it if it holds up. I mean, you know, I, think it just, I don't think it was received that well, but now there's some kind of nostalgia about it. People love mm -hmm. it. Now. Well, I think I think the Avengers was really selling well and really popular. So, yeah. you know, what do they do? Oh, let's let's do a spinoff. Let's do a spinoff. <laughs> but, you know, and they put it across the coast. I guess that made some sense, but just I don't know. Just the team didn't didn't have quite the characters, you know, the that the uh, original Avengers had. Issue 85. Oh, yeah. That was my information source prior, yeah, prior to the uh, internet right there. Of DC. And, of course, I got some Coyote here <laughs> from Epic. Coyote? <laughs> yeah. Dude, I got a bunch of this oh, stuff. Oh, yes. Okay. Epic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Epic. Some epic was okay, but not all. But, uh, but Actually, too much I like, can kill I, like <laughs> I like the style now. I like this maybe because it just reminds me of that time, you know. You had to battle the West Coast wokeness. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is the 80s. I don't think that was a thing back then. Oh, uh, the West Coast. Well, maybe they. I don't know. I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> I like West Coast more than maybe they're they're twisting things nowadays. Hey, uh, listen to each to each his own. I mean, I I didn't hate the West Coast Avengers. I just didn't think it rose to the level of the um, original Avengers. Um, I mean, I had Wonder Man, which this is all from Dave's. Uh, I I don't. I dropped out of X Men before I got to this. But. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of us did. But they're collectible now. Here's Caliber uh, Baker Street, number five. I don't know if that's horror. Looks that way. Yeah, it kind of looks that way, yeah. I do like supernatural uh, horror, like fighting, you know, and stuff like that. Uh, Champions, number three. This is yeah, I mean, they had a good team, but I don't know. They just didn't gel the way the original Avengers did. I heard, I heard West Coast got better. I don't know for sure because Moon Knight – was in there or something, you know, <laughs> kind of mixed things up. But yeah, I don't the know. only thing is that Moon Knight and West Coast of America, he was always like this really mysterious, almost like a Phantom Stranger guy, you know? Yeah. He didn't talk much. He just sort of Here's showed up when he needed to and did things when he needed to. Yeah. Here's the first issue of Dark Horse Comics. Yeah, definitely not Great Lakes Adventures. Yeah. Like that. Any Predator for, uh, fans out there? Mm hmm. Um, I is. I mean, I am. <laughs> am is too. <laughs> Yosemite Sam. Oh, there you go. That's <laughs> worth the whole thing right there. Yeah. Wait, I'm... what do you call that? Uh, semi form with the, with the flags? <laughs> yeah, Whitman variant? Yes, yeah, so a Whitman. What just meant that it was um, a direct, yeah, essentially, that's the direct edition arm. Or um, no, because um, sometimes yes, yeah, with Whitman, back. sometimes they didn't put the uh, the number of the issue. Yeah, yeah. A lot of them were in those three packs and so forth. Oh, here's a cool cover. The yellow Whitmans are actually valuable. Now Chad knows about because he he's a sells a lot on Instagram, so he knows about values. I don't know about values. So. I'd listen to him. <laughs> he knows this stuff. Yeah, they were bag sets. I, I I was pretty sure those Whitmans were, yeah. Originally, I mean, a lot of them were broken out early. I think he's talking about ElfQuest. Is Scotty talking about ElfQuest? ElfQuest, too. Incidentally. Wasn't that the, yeah. the epic Elf, Elf line? Quest. Yeah, I think that was that was an epic, wasn't it? The ElfQuest. Um, was I it the it Pennies was. did that? Do I, do I have an ElfQuest in there? Right there? I have about this much now, like Marvel two and one, and like this much nice. Marvel Tales. All for a ham sandwich and a bag of chips. Oh, this I, guy. All right. <laughs> I, a lot of this is doubles, though. They're going to go in my trading program. So, for people who don't have old issues that they're interested in, or that's the way to do it. Nostalgia, man. you know. I'm, I'm going to pass along the. Uh, Okay, I did have an epic. Well, okay. Like this is a definitely a double. Yeah. Yeah, they kind of did look anime. Yeah, that's right at the end. That's the last issue, I think, 150. 
There's issue 55 of Marvel 2 and 1. Oh, yeah. That's the uh, Pegasus Project. Good stuff. Awesome stuff. Yeah. Perez. I think that's Perez art in there. I know Bub is like, eh. <laughs> I like the interior arts better than the covers. Oh, all right. Yeah. That's fair. Really? You didn't like the covers? They're okay. <laughs> they're not They're not Greg Land's, you know. No, I, I think oh, I, I like think his it. panel work. I think I don't his know interior panel work is my brain fart. I like this more than land. I like I like land though. So yeah, I could keep going. I did. Okay, I should show you guys this. I think yeah, he was renamed Giant Man somewhere in that series. Yeah, he was black. I got a whole before. bunch that came in a in a short box in. It had the Marvel superhero Secret Wars, and it's, of course it said incomplete. Right, right, and uh, so what are you thinking? So, What's so missing? I thinking, so I was thinking that didn't have this one. Oh yeah, nice. It actually is high grade. It has a little roll on it on, along the side here, but I can't believe I got this. So I got all these in the short box for less than a dollar. They gave me a refund too, and I was like, "Why? I didn't ask wow. them." You know, I, I it was weird, and I was wow. so the one that was missing was number twelve. The last issue, yeah, yeah, but it had one of my one of my favorite covers, of course. That that shouldn't be too tough to find, I don't think. It's a yeah. double size issue, but that's my favorite one too. That's just yeah, fabulous. Zach, Zach, oof! I think everyone loves this. Wow. Well, when you when you tussle with the Beyonder, you're gonna get. <laughs> that's how you end up looking. You're gonna get a bit scratched. So yeah, I mean, I could keep going with similar stuff, but. All right, let's let's uh, let's keep going while I ask. All right, last last portion here because we're gonna be on for another fifteen minutes or twenty. Uh, what do you want to see here in the Medicaid? I'll I'll go pick it out, come over and show you while Aaron's grail. Yeah, Aaron's um showing us the rest because I think Bob, you're done for now, right? Yeah, I'll just show this one. I mean, I could keep going. I could it was requested going. in the chat, and then I freaked out because I couldn't freaking find it. Oh, the DV8. Oh, nice. Oh. The DV8 one. Nice collaboration of Adam Hughes and Dave Stevens. Wow. Well, I have to admit that's well composed cover. Yeah. Very nicely done. All right. Let's yeah. see what we got here. I'm just go. pulling randomly. I think Mike Grail definitely does the. Uh, no, I do not. I, I do not have any Migos. No. Covers, but uh, Dan Jurgen does the inside work. I do not have super. Uh, yeah, I do have Barbies. You're right. I do have them over there. The Wonder Woman and the um, Supergirl, I think. Right? Is that right, Scott? I don't know what they are, so you know better than I would. <laughs> yeah, that's those are the ones. Yep, that's right. I so thought so. Randomly pulling here. Planet of the Vampires. Was this bad? Oh no, that's pretty good. This was a good one. Uh, yes, I do have some MMS swag, but I can't get that easily. Aha, bottom box, isn't it? Yeah, that's <laughs> a, that's all that neighbor kid over. That's not even bottom box, that's like bottom bin under the bottom boxes. Definitely cool. Comment. Yeah, I really, I really enjoyed the Planet of the Vampires, actually. I really did. Yeah, unusual published comics. Okay, that I do have, definitely have that. I got tons of this Thor. I geez, I already have a couple copies of this, but so this will be going in doubles. Oh, yeah, it'll be a fun. Fun. it'll be a fun trading program. Are you gonna start a triples column as well? <laughs> I'll put in parentheses times two in the double. Uh -huh. Keep going while I pull out something here. <clears throat> Walt Simonson, of course, right. Forgive, forgive the thuds. <laughs> you stop lifting weights, Roger. <laughs> I don't have to. I got comics. Who needs weights, right? Yeah, I just, I just do my, I, I'll just do my squats with boxes. This looks here, like here. a pack of cryptos, but they're not. I did used to be in really good shape in my twenties and thirties, but you know, when, when, when kids come along, then you know, forget it. Right. All right. 
Then we got some. Uh, you guys ever hear of uh, Stick Boy? <laughs> Stick Boy. <laughs> I have no clue what this is. Wow, about. that is bizarre. Hey, psychedelic, welcome. I'm about to show some kind of oddball publishers here in a bit. Oh yeah, that's. I think that is that. I think that's Kirby, right? He did the Superpower series, I think. Awesome. I think cheap comic collector Rob's going to be giving away some Superpower. I don't know if it's. Yeah, super that was a cool comic. I remember that one. Yeah. yeah. Cool story. That whole comic was just to sell toys. Yeah, correct. Well, you know, Secret Wars sort of was too. Yeah, it was. It was, just, it was just much better done. Oh, the Bog Beast. Yeah. Everybody had a bog beast, you know, DC, <laughs> Marvel, Skywalk, right. everybody. That's a good one. Do you think uh, who owns at all these Atlas characters? Do you know? No, I don't Me. know. Me. <laughs> uh, I know some of them, some of them were, were Tiger Man. There was a revamp in the <laughs> 2000s, but oh, yeah, Tiger Man. Terrible. Or, uh, <laughs> that's and that's that, not that's Tiger Man, Roger. by the way. Oh, my God. That for Roger. That's not even Tiger Man on the cover, as hideous no, as that I is. There's another one. Oh, oh, there's another one in there. Yeah. Just in case you guys. Oh, move. double shot. Mm. Tiger Man. <coughs> Listen, I'm a completist. So I got him. I read him. And I was like, like he stalks Ew. the night. Come on. You this know? is going into the uh, recycle. I'm more worried if Tiger Man stalked the day, I got to tell you. Uh, yeah, he's walking around broad daylight, and that oh. thing starts coming at me. Oh, now, holy! Oh, now that's that's something. Yeah, Rom number one. Is yeah. that also first appearance of Rom? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think. What was it? Bill Mantlo had the idea to do Micronauts, and then he did Rom, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The idea. I think, but that was that was a toy, I think, in Japan, if I recall correctly. I remember. I've Rom. seen them. They sell them at cons still. You can still find oh, yeah. them old. Cool. Old Rom Space Knight. Yeah, that, terribly that, made, easily broken. You just excited Scotty. He loves Rom. How about Solar Man? Not uh, so much. He went yeah, from 12 to so 6 much. on that one, Aaron. You don't see too many Solar Man <laughs> figures at cons, you know. So. Uh, oh, the toy was here, too. Okay. Just did a nosedive there. Yep. Um, we got some Indiana Jones. Oh, okay. Nice. You sent me some. No, you didn't. No, I'm sorry. You sent me um, Blade Runner. I Blade think. Runner. Modern yeah. Blade Runner. Yeah, which I, were I had devils of that stuff too. Yeah, that was pretty. I cool. just wish it was better. You know, I don't know. I, it didn't. didn't oh, well, you know, I mean, it, listen, you 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 take them as they come. Sometimes, you know, it's like yeah. okay, it's not like the original, but it's better here's, than nothing. Here's Gru number two. Um, I think it's volume two though. But Gru number two looks just Might like you. Gru number two. As I recall, oh, Micronauts, the one that I had, the legs would or the arms always fell off. Maybe I'm mis maybe I'm misremembering the toy. Look who's here. Great legend. How you doing, Rob? Great to see you here, buddy. Number one of the Grim Ghost. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Pretty cool cover. Yeah. Gru, Gru, I am Gru. <laughs> I am Gru. Gru. Groot. Not I am Gru. Yeah. Hello. Scotty. Yeah. <clears throat> they say hi to legend the arms do come off of some of them they were interchangeable yeah of souls yeah. well that's you know that last one is uh kind of harder to find that those last few issues at least i had i couldn't find them on the newsstand i had to buy them later on of ghost rider yeah the last like from 80 80 i think 80 81 is the last one maybe or 82 cool i, I couldn't find those it's got a few of these, I think. I don't know. Some pre burn, I think, or yeah. maybe right early burn. One of the, I forgot. No, it's pre burn. Pre burn. Yeah. Okay. I think that's, is that Bill Sinkevich, though? Or... Could be. He did do yeah. some. Yeah. He did do some. Yeah. We got some uh, Marvel Tales 15. I like these square bounds, you know? Like, to get them mm -hmm. for a buck is pretty awesome. I went to the LC, my LCS in Olympia. It's not that L. However, yeah, it's not that not that local, right? And I spent like thirteen bucks on one really nice one, um, but yeah, it, it had that green goblin Spidey had both Ditko and uh, Ramita. Yeah, on that cover. 
Is that the Hulk annual, Chad? The second appearance of Groot? Or is that the Where Monsters Dwell? I think that was a reprint. I guess I, I'm a, a confused about this that. This is a big deal now, the banner, right? People collect that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Great to see Scotty. Good. Yeah, great to see him, too. Great to see both of you. Uh, if it didn't rain, it would be. Yeah, yeah. It's, I, I, when we traveled yesterday, it was raining the whole way. So we got, a, a, I don't know, the dynamic forces. Uh, Star Wars. I don't know if this. Oh, it was the whole canyon. Okay. All right. Good. I got a bunch maybe of. Was, well, maybe, maybe that's just because it was foil or something. Yeah. Oh, it's got a certificate. At least it has the stamp. I think I removed one of my Inhumans one one year, and I mm -hmm. didn't use. And I took it out, and I didn't mm -hmm. use the original stamp. Queen Amidala. I mean, the stamps peel off pretty easy. I, I usually put them in mylar and then put the stamp back on it. It's just one of those things, <laughs> you know. Yeah, what I do. So, I mean, I was, uh, it's not a huge regret. Uh, all right, Aaron. I guess I'll I'll, uh, I'll finish All right, up here. sounds good, bro. I saw it because um, the wife will be home soon, and I'll probably have to be making dinner or something for her. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> so, um, all right, here we go. Some weird publishers. How about Super Comics? Number twelve, Danger, starring the Black Dwarf. Yes. <laughs> yes, it does look Every cool. I know you. I know everybody was waiting for that, right? Mm -hmm. um, how about danger? Maybe number... he was there the whole time, but we couldn't find him. We couldn't find him. He's so small. Yeah, couldn't see more uh, of the countertop. Yeah. There you go. Ross Andrew covers Aaron on these, by the way. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Super Comics were all um, unauthorized reprints, by the way. And here is a. This is actually the first time this story appeared. In a comic because it was supposed to be in the golden age, but the company went under before they published it. But yet, Irving Waldman bought the plates, but not the intellectual property. He just went ahead and printed it anyway. Danger number 16, starring Yankee Girl. Wow. Look at that. I like a good Yankee girl. Oh, I know you do, Bub. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know you do. <laughs> and Super Comics Battle Stories, number 12. Cool. Here we have Daring Adventures number 18, starring Atlas, another one that was published in the Golden Age. I mean, sorry, written in the Golden Age, but were never published. The plates were made. And when Irving Waldman bought that print shop or whatever, he just went ahead and made it anyway. Just put a new cover on it. And boom. Notice there's no comics code. <laughs> Pre-code. It's not pre-code. It's no code. It's no these code. Are, these are from the late 50s and early 60s. Wow. Yeah. And here is Fantastic Adventures number 12. Another Ross Andrew cover. You can tell the Ross, Ross Andrew face right there on that lady. Yeah. If you if you read Spider-Man in the 70s, you're pretty yeah. familiar with that. And Bubble liked this one. It's kind of like Strange Sal Planets Bichon. number ten, like Bal uh, Sal Bichon. Yes, I've I've often considered picking that up. You often considered it. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I mean that obviously that's a reprint, right, of yeah. of the original cover. But I, I've I've often come close to picking that up. So cool. I mean, All right, yeah. let's look at some Skywall comic. How's that? Huh? In fact, wait a minute. Is that in the run that I need? Is that a strange world? While Bub is deciphering what he needs over there, <laughs> deciphering um, his wants. <laughs> Blazing I think that might be on number list. one. Notice I like Sundance Kid. Yeah. I like a little shingle there. He put you, you got the number, the publisher, and the little avatar of the character there on the shingle. Yeah, Sundance Kid. We got Blazing Six Gun number two. Yeah, riding that horse right off that cliff, no problem. <laughs> and here we got the bravados, los bravados number one. Bravados kick your what? And we right? have Butch bravados Cassidy, kick your ass. Bravados kick your face. Of course, you know it's Butch Cassidy because it's got that oh. derby on. So cool. Like it. There's a lot of shooting going on. A lot of shooting. Somebody needs to duck. Nobody's getting hit, as you notice. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. stormtrooper training. 
Butch Cassidy number one. I think that guy did get hit on that one there, yeah. Forgive my phone. And Butch Cassidy number two. I think like kind of like Atlas Seaboard, none of these went past three or four, I think. Yeah. That makes it a lot easy. of westerns, <laughs> but there was a couple gems in here, including this one here. The heap number one. Nice. And the villain is the Sith or the Scythe. I don't know how you want to pronounce it. People totally want the heat nowadays. They want the heat. They want they want <laughs> yeah, heap it on. Yeah. <laughs> and if you don't want the heat, you want jungle adventures starring Zangar. Not Kazar, Zangar. Zangar. Oh, no, I don't know if I feel as strongly about this one. <laughs> wow. It's not on your want list. Wow, come no. on, really? Zangar, come on. Jungle Adventures number two. If I only had one copy, it'd be on my doubles list. That's a good one, actually. Well, that's a really good one. <laughs> and here we have number three. With nice little date stamp up there. Look at that. Oh yeah. March 26th. Hey, what day's today? No, 20, oh. 28th, right? Oh, sorry. Almost made it. All right. How about the the other one was Blazing Six Gun Star in the Sun Sundance Kid? This is the actual Sundance Kid cover here. This is this is the anti-Matilda cover because it's as yellow as can be. Mm-hmm. And we got number two. This is the whole run of Skywall, by the way, right here. These are all the ones that they published. Number three. Just right, lost right four at... viewers when you said that, Roger. <laughs> yeah, I figure as much, yeah. But what he means to say is there's not many of them. Not many, no. Right. Motto's number three. I think some people thought the opposite. <laughs> Tell you what, I do this streams, is, man. I don't like go on for hours. I don't <laughs> like finally. This is what you wanted to see. No. I'm only missing one issue of this, but here we go. Tender love stories. Aww. Tender, my tender love. These are very tough to find, by the way. And I found these all in the wild or through trade. So cool. I, I need a number three, but anyway, I'll find it eventually. And uh, here's number two. And your love story. <laughs> Beautiful lady crying. That's that's a shame. Oh, aren't they always? I don't like when ladies are crying. No. Tender love stories number four. Kiss cover and a tomboy mechanic in the back. I tell you. Oh man, that's a nah man uh, scene right there. There's a nah man scene, yeah. Oh, I guess I forgot this one. Wild Western action. Yeehaw! Starring the bravados. And number two, right there. The right guns. There. Right there. The <laughs> oh, boy. So that is the complete set, I believe, of Skywall Comics from 1965. Wow. All right. A couple That's more. Great. You, have all your, you have all your indies pulled out. Yeah, these out. are my, some of my yes. indies, right. I got everything uh, all Let's mixed show up. this one here. How about oh, some Harvey? Alarming Adventures, number one. Look at that. Yeah. Down the alarm. There's an adventure going on. I mean, how many times are you riding a wasp That's, or whatever this is? At least once more, oh, Roger. At least once more. <laughs> it's a purple wasp, too. It's great. Yeah, that's, uh, that's one of those. Popping off that Listen, yellow. Listen, I've, I've seen some mahogany wasp around here almost as big as this. So. Oh, that's scary. Um, and here's kind of a... Re reversal, I mean, I guess, sort of. Uh, Alarming Adventures number two, where the aquarium is on the outside and we are on the inside. Dun, 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 Twilight Zone. That's freaking me out. Yeah. <laughs> it's confusing my mind. Yeah, look at that, right? Ooh, well, at cool. least I got some books to read. Maybe there's some comics. There. <laughs> where am I? Uh, I got some comics. I got some books. I'm fine. <laughs> and uh, this guy, I think, is you know, you know how some people are just inappropriately dressed for the occasion or for the climate. This guy definitely is. <laughs> Alarming Avengers number three, and um, 
apparently he was transported from an island yeah, and he looks like he was a, teleported there yeah yeah he's wearing uh, some <laughs> fro uh, some frog legs and uh, no what do you call those things uh, flippers whatever these are well flipper legs flipper legs yeah is he flipper feet far? what is that oh, actually look there's another island up there they're holding on for dear life look at that <laughs> yeah and these guys are like what is going on i the think they're terraforming that lake you yeah that palm tree in there harpoon a whale that's exactly what's going on there. how ridiculous i can't believe you support that kind of stuff there, Roger. <laughs> well, I'm, I, listen i don't you know I, I i i come across these things and boom all right let's go through a few dells how's that let's go through a few dells before we close out here because it's almost okay. eight o'clock air war stories with story in the kamikaze nice those daredevil Japanese pilots that would crash into aircraft carriers if what? they ran out of how old, is that? how old is that comic? This is from uh, the mid-60s, I do believe. Dells, mm -hmm. they don't give you much information as to what the issue number, the mm -hmm. year or nothing. So, And here we have one of the greatest characters I ever made that nobody knows. This is going on my obscure character spotlight for sure. Yeah, good show. Neutro. Okay. Look, I love this little blurb here. The most outstanding superhero of all. Astonishing, yeah. Right. Astounding. Neutro does not know the difference between right and wrong. <laughs> That's <laughs> astounding. You like that? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. Different world back then, I'll tell you. It was, right? Here's uh, Bewitched. Cool. Bothered which, and bewildered. Which way? Which way? Am I? Now, is it Dick Sargent or Dick York? I, I was I can't never mix those. I always mix those two up. Anyway. That's Dick York. Oh, that's Dick York. All right, thank you. Ben Casey, full face figure here. There we go. Yeah, uh, that's Dick heavy. Sargent. Oh, that's Dick Sargent. Okay. <laughs> that one is. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I'm not keeping up with the chat. Let's see what they're saying here a second. They said it's uh, Sergeant Dick York. Comics. Well, we're 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 gonna wrap it up. Maybe next week we'll we'll make another stream here. Okay. Uh, are you are you uh, here for a week? You said Tuesday, right? Yeah, I'm leaving Tuesday. Um, but I'll I'll be back and I'll do another stream for Jersey next week, hopefully. Well, right. Micah, you're the only person to ever asked me to show anything, and apparently yeah, we're we out are of running time. out of time. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think I hear the wife. <laughs> Oh, wow. so, I was like, <laughs> yeah. Here we got this. Is this is patterned after Bub Brain Boy? Absolutely cool. Yeah, that is cool. Actually, did I you know, Aaron, that cool cover. with the power of your brain, you can make yourself levitate and fly? Did you know that? Yeah, you got to counter rotate your aura. Or oh, okay, so you know how to do it. Okay, no, <laughs> don't do that. Uh, it takes forever to get this, him back. This right. guy figured it out. You know, I've been trying for years. <laughs> do that, Aaron. I, I, I actually get closer to the gravity instead of flying. I don't, oh, I don't know okay. Flying, yeah. You could suspend gravity if you put yourself in the Here we floor. go. Toka, Jungle King. <laughs> Jungle King. Yeah. Is there an alligator going to bite him in the butt? Well, there's a crocodile. Well, right? The crocodile is moving jungle, pretty right? fast. But he's got a... Oh, he's in the water? Yeah, he's got some uh, cement. Oh, he's in trouble on now. There. Oh, he's chained down. Yeah. Oh, that's, no. That's, he's uh, Jungle King. He'll get out. That's, that's yeah, yeah. That's not gonna go. Well. Never fair. Toka's on the case. <laughs> now you, you guys know about you know the history and creation of Count Dracula, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Which In Transylvania? One? You know the oh, guy yeah. goes over there. Oh yeah, yeah, like Vlad the Impaler. But did you know that he's not the only Dracula? No, we have the new Dracula superhero. Yes. What? That's another one. If I had doubles, if I had only one issue, it would be no, on my double list. Double list. The I, I did the have an Dracula. issue of this, and I got rid of it so fast. I got to tell you, the secret of Dracula's strange superpowers. What? So my wife about? likes Dracula, right? She likes vampires and stuff, and and so I'd got this book, and I was like, look, you know, because you know. Your wife's like, I think I like. She likes like Tomb of Dracula one. I've got on right. up in the wall yeah. here somewhere. Yeah, the, the and she's like, Oh, I like Dracula. That's great. I'm like, Oh, oh, she likes Dracula comics. I'll buy some more <laughs> Dracula comics. She's gonna love them. And I bought this turd. Oh, <laughs> and she is yeah. like, No, it's public <laughs> domain. Right? The name is public domain. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Public you domain. Use, you can't use public a lot of uh, name. A lot of the um, 
stuff around it because that some of that is still copyrighted, but you can use the name. All right. And then we have Kona, Monarch of Monster Isle. Now, if you're going to be Monarch of something, I don't know if you want to choose Monster Isle necessarily. But anyway, that's... Unless you could happened. beat them all up, you know. I don't know. I don't know. No, even then. He's doing pretty good against he's that risky. guy. But, you know, he's, got, he's got that nice little... Uh, I don't know what that is. Uh, some kind of... A woman. There's a woman thing. back there, Roger. Huh? Yeah, look out. Oh yeah, yeah. Damsel you know, notice, in distress. Listen, there there could be like there could be a dot down back in the back. Bub will figure it out if that's a woman. Well, it's, yeah. yes, I'll even you tell know. you what the dot is. <laughs> <laughs> He'll tell you like dimensions and everything. I mean, it's amazing. <laughs> Sometimes it's a dot that gives it away. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Yeah. All right, here we have the frogmen. Oh, now cool. that I like. Um, Alex Tothart in here, I do believe. Let me let me double check that. Let me double check that. I don't want to. I don't want to bring us any misinformation here. Uh, spreading those. Uh, yeah, I don't want to bring us any. I start yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. That looks like all Alex Toff. All right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. 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 I remember reading this and I was like, "Man, this art's pretty good." And I was like, "Oh, Alex Toff. Well, that makes sense." All right. What did I do with the tape? Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. And then, of course, uh, I remember this movie starring John Wayne. Wait, well, it's not this movie, but the, you'll know what I mean in a second. Tales of the Green Beret. Oh, cool. yeah. Yeah, you remember that movie, The Green Berets? i never seen it. you never seen it? No. Viet Vietnam, I think it was Vietnam era. Well, it's no Buckaroo Bonsai, so you yeah, got to no. forgive Aaron on that. <laughs> no, it's, not <laughs> it's not that, you know. All right, let's 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 close this out with something really... Kind of weird. Um, well, let's see. Here we go. Here we go. The Incredible. Not Hulk. Not H U L. No, not Incredible. Crash Dummies. Hey, hey, there we go. Hey. Oh, yeah. I love the Crash Dummies. When I, I love their songs. Yeah. Yeah. You remember the animated series? That very... <laughs> I had the toys. I had the entire toy line, which yeah. are now worth a crap ton of money. Are they? Had the toy I didn't even know there was a toy line. <laughs> That's why there was a toy line, so and it was nobody wanted them. It was a super big fail. I mean, it started with a commercial, right? Yeah. So yeah. nobody okay. wanted it. It it was a it was a sensation, right? But okay. then it flopped, and so the discount bins at KB Toys were filled with those crash test dummies. So, and I collected all that you know cheap wow. stuff. Right. So yeah. I I had all the crash test. I had the car. Everything no. you put them in the car and you slam the car and the car fall apart and their eyes would pop hey, out. Bet, and all doing, stuff. Now you're yeah. laughing all the way to the bank. I know Bub and I will be up at Heroes Con, so uh, we'll, yeah, see, you we'll there, see you there, sure. Chris. Yeah, I definitely. saw him last year there. Okay, great, great. Main reason I'm going back. Hey, Chris, yeah, Bob shows things in the background while we're talking. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> Bob. You know, you got us. Uh, what is this guy? What is Norman saying? Neutral, neutral. Why is he saying neutral? Neutral. Right, Maybe he's neutral the, about uh, right Dracula. Here. Number two, little mummy. He's saying the crash here. test dummies left it in neutral. Oh, they they rolled down the hill. There you go. That you was go. it. That was it. And then um, this is interesting, right? There's a bunch of crash dummies, and he's like, uh, "Where's the rest of me?" Um, trying to find a needle in a haystack. There, I like to have that Harvey down here. You know, like yeah. And up top too, they're real proud. And then up there as well. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think yeah, we got it. You know, it was there yeah, from every trying angle. Word out. They're trying to get. Yeah, the I mean, it's out. like every single. Maybe thing, they figured right? people were going to throw them in the trash, and yeah. they throw them front end first, <laughs> and then you could see the Harvey from different the top angles. You get there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Hold on, right there. All right, all right, well, guys, that's it for today. Awesome. All right, thanks for joining me, Bub and Aaron. I appreciate it. You must be thrilled. You're back home. I am very thrilled. Nothing like nothing like being back home. Warm weather. Um, great friends. No traffic here in my small town. You know, not, not like Jersey where I, you know, where I live, there's not a lot of traffic in the immediate area. But once I get to Jersey City, all bets are off. Yeah. So um, cool. it's good to de-stress and thaw out here. My, my wife is really, she does not like the cold weather at all. I mean, she was just miserable. 
Um, so she's ecstatic. She wants to see how she can work from home like, like once a once a month, but I said I don't think that's possible. She's under contract for you guys to go up there how many times or for no no she's she's not a you know she doesn't have to be up there any set number of times but there's there's so many different things that she has to do up there that she can't be away for that long you know so, so that's 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 the problem but not a problem I mean we'll figure it out we'll figure it yeah out. you're in it together it's cool man all right gentlemen who's feeding the cats uh the neighbors and okay. and my and my uh, in laws are taking care of the property. They're mowing, they're blowing the leaves, all that stuff. And who's protecting oh, the uh, Medicaid? Uh, <laughs> my neighbor across Cats. the street. My Cats neighbor across the Medicaid. Is probably the biggest gun aficionado you'll ever want to know. Okay, good. He yeah. has a gun collection, bub, which would knock you off your, your seat. I'm sure. Uh, so if anybody even comes around here, I feel bad for them. Let's put it that way. Good. <laughs> so, yeah, it's very safe. Trust me, it's very, very safe. Uh, oh, and I, I got alarms, I got cameras, but that, that, I, even if I didn't have that, if I have Johnny, I got no problems. Right Good on. Deal. All right. Thank you, chat, for being here. Appreciate you. Love you. Six and a half Goodbye, years chat. on YouTube. I don't regret anything except maybe the Monday night chat with them. But other than that, <laughs> I don't regret anything. I don't blame you. <laughs> no, of course not. But I, I, I probably wouldn't love be you. here if it wasn't for Bub and. <laughs> Him pulling me oh, into the. I've community. only saved your life a few times, Roger. I can't take all the blame. Well, because remember, Bob, I wasn't live streaming. I wasn't interacting with anybody. I was just doing my videos, and then you said, "Hey, yeah. I want you to be on the Monday night no no faces chat because none of us showed our faces back then at that point, Aaron." Yeah, Roger, um, no you're faces. slowly doing you're slowly doing this to me. See, right? I'm, I'm <laughs> you a little We're bit. Thank you, man. World. Well, I'm trying to paint you. Be forward. able to. Yeah. Soon you won't be able to trade an entire short box for a ham sandwich. <laughs> you, yeah, you're no, you're no. gonna overexpose him. No, Aaron's listen. Aaron is you know he's he's got the cogs rolling already. Dave, yeah. what else do might you have? Listen, mm -hmm. you know I've got some disposable income this month. You know <laughs> I got some disposable and, Dracula comics. And there's a great All pizza right, down in Portland. I hear you know so. Yeah, yeah, we got to go to Portland. Sure. Yeah, yeah. All right, gentlemen, take care. Love you. All right, and take everybody care. in the chat. Bye, everyone. You know what I'm going to say? Be kind. Be blessed. Be back.